Dun, 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 dun. This game is awesome. I feel like really lucky that I get to play blind RPGs in 2020. You know, like ones I always wanted to play. Like, man, how cool is that? How freaking cool is that? There we go. Yeah, you don't need to shut up, Yorm. I, I'm reading. I'm just trying to set up at the same time. I like hearing people's stories about gaming. That's that's, that's kind of what we're here for, just to hang out and talk about the things we enjoy. Professionally eat ramen? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. You beat him 50 to two? Wow. <laughs> Wasn't even close, dude. He didn't say a word? Oh, come on. Not like, thanks for the games. Oh, you're really good. Like, was he really that salty about it? That poor guy. That's right, son, Top. You tell him, man. You tell him. <laughs> This is a really pretty Banana. intro. Yo. Banana. Yo, Mandel. Question is, what is a manamana? The question is, who cares? I see a Finn. I see a Mandel. Dude, 11 months. 11 months is a poor Mandel. Thank you so much, dude. It's good to see you. First sub of the night. Much appreciated, man. We're playing some Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana, yeah. And I have a chocobo, his name is Boko. His name is Boko. Chat named him Boko. Heiner Durian named the main character Durian. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Just make sure all my faders are in the right spot. All right. He's Boko for Boko Puffs. Did you really just go there? I see it. I see. You just really went there, huh? <sighs> Can anyone reflushify Gilbert? There's a quest that we're on. I had to do it to him, says Chris. <laughs> Oh, man. So, what you're seeing is hardware. Just to kind of carry on from the topics we were talking about earlier. Going through a component cable on the PS2. So, original PS2s had actual PS1 hardware in them. They effectively had a PS1 in them. So, they're not emulated. They're not emulated at all. Hey, Austin Covello. How are you, dude? So, that's going through a component cable through a switch so it's one of those things where you plug in the it has like f multiple inputs for analog cables and one output and this one automatically detects the signal and sends the active signal to the output and that's going through a splitter <laughs> the splitter is not necessary for what we're doing with this right now but that then goes to the ossc which then upscales it to HDMI and gets you this with a ton of filters and settings that I set on the OSSC and OBS. About as pixel perfect as you can get. It's hard to do, but this is about as good as you can get. I think it looks really good. Radio Shack would have been proud. <laughs> Should try and find your PS2. Yeah, the old fat PS2 models had 
legit PS1 hardware in them. One guy was like, I'm good at Soul Calibur 4. And you were like, that game isn't good and it's easy to win. And you beat, you just, you destroyed him. I, nice, dude. Okay, so it's places that we haven't been to yet. The Mindus Ruins, the Bone Fortress. We haven't been to those places yet. Um, we will be placing down a new artifact shortly. Well, I also kind of want to know what the hell is the deal with this Pearl gal. And also how I apparently missed some starter quests. What kind of cable soup am I using? Dude, it's a total rat's nest. It's, oh my God. It's why I try to only buy good cables so they're shielded. Otherwise the interference would be out of control. It is an absolute rat's nest. Let's see if we can find Pearl. An octopus orgy. Well, here's Elazul. You're looking for a friend. Sure, you can come with. Maybe we can find Pearl. The frozen he art. Give me a break. Don't tell me you ran away again. No, I can't say I did. Mercasta. Whoa. Whoa! Shit! It's Pearl! Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> She found her. We did it. We did it. Uh, no, I've never made custom cables. I would buy, buy them from the lady we just saw. Um, from Retro Access. I also have a HD Retro Vision component cable for the Super Nintendo, which is really good. You. That's cool. What? Oh, I just feel like I might get left behind. Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Should I stay here? Yeah. That's not fair. You must. Outside is perilous, right, Durian? So is this place. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Invite her over. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be off. What? What? I just didn't... You should see if she'll trade it back for Fortnite skins. Yeah, it's worth a lot more than those. <laughs> you pulled an all-nighter and beat this game last night. Now you're trying the next difficulty of awesome, dude. I, I've heard from a couple people who said since I started playing this, they picked it back up and they're playing it again. And that's kind of really flattering. Like, it's really cool how sometimes, like, when you just stream a game, other people are like, oh, I should play that again. It's pretty neat. It's pretty darn neat. <laughs> Rackadactylus, he's literally playing it right now. She's in need of things like a home, a family. I guess. Add influencer to my resume. Where'd she go? I mentioned Secret of Stars. Yeah, oh, that reminds me for the, uh, the watch list here. We added... Uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and GameCube to it. So if you have any suggestions for like retro RPG games for those systems, you know, I'm interested in hearing about them. You like the Chocobo flex? Chocobo's cool, isn't he? I don't like bombs or rockets either. Okay. Uh, do so love outer space. Okay. All right, we already did this quest. This is a weird quest. By the way, Viseral, Seventh Sage and the Grindfest. Seventh Saga? That was one of the, that was the first game I streamed when I got a Super Nintendo. So I've already streamed that. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> I love that game, but I'm not streaming it again. Uh, and I own it. I, I do own it. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Oh yeah. 
Paper Mario TYD. Okay. That's right. I forgot about that. Good call. Sagar Saga had counterintuitive scaling that not only made grinding dis disadvantageous, but if you didn't grind enough, you were also at a disadvantage. It was it was pretty pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Cause like your your rivals in that game had the non-bug scaling. So you couldn't really beat them if you were too high of a level. But if you were too high of a level or too low of a level, you couldn't beat like some regular bosses either. So yeah, it's a mess. Did your year year of old did 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 your year of old CRPGs? Wait, what? I must have missed. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't understand. Um, zero mission. What's zero mission? What's that? I've never heard of zero mission. Mega Man Battle Network games. Are those uh, like RPGs? Oh, Metroid Zero Mission. Which one is that? What's Zero Mission? I know what Metroid Fusion is, but I don't know what Zero Mission is. It was the remake of the original Metroid. Is it good? I probably, if it's a re, I'd probably rather just play the original Metroid to be honest. That's not really what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for mostly RPGs, to be honest. Zero Mission was good. I mean, I can add it. I can add it. It's not really like the MO I have right now, but I'll add it. The Battle Networks are RPGs? Okay. What systems are those are on? Murcasta is asking if chat considers the Mega Man Battle Network games to be RPGs. Those are those are GBA as well. Interesting. Tell my fortune. Dinner. Monty says they are. Zero mission was amazing. The horse statue prevents cave-ins. She's... That's all she ever says now. Huh. <laughs> Oh, right. That is the manual. I was going to check that real quick. There's six games. There's six Battle Network games. That's kind of a lot. You never truly played them. I don't really know much about them. Cutest mail carrier. Apparently, that's a lady. I had no idea. Western end empty feels bad feels bad yo it's Laura Lana it's Laura Lana thank you for the host Laura Lana never cared much for the battle network games what can you guys tell me about the first Hi, battle network Laura game Lana. the first battle network game what can you tell me about it because I wouldn't want to just jump in the middle of the series if I tried one. Oh, and Murkass, I added Jade Cocoon 2 to the list. It's on, uh, where is it? Yeah, PS2. He told me to look into it, so I added that. I like CRPGs. They're pretty cool. I enjoy CRPGs. Though, as streaming games, I personally probably wouldn't do CRPGs. 
because they're generally like massively text heavy and hard to f the stories are usually hard to follow as a viewer and at least that's been my experience in watching those streams they're not the best for interaction i would say or discussion but they are really good games like they're games i play on my own because i like them so much like divinity original sin um uh, Pillars of Eternity is really good. Wasteland 2. Um, what's the other one? What's the other one that I was thinking of? That it was Tides of Numenara? That's one I was recently playing. That one's really cool, too. C stands for... Uh, I think it says for computer? Is that right? Computer RPG? I always forget. Classic? I think it's computer RPG. Pretty sure it's computer RPG. Because that genre didn't exist until PC gaming. Basically. And it became a genre. Like Fallout games, Baldur's Gate games, Icewind Dale games. That became like its own genre. See RPGs. And there were ones before those too. Like I think the Ultima games kind of fit that too. In the 80s, there was this distinction between pen and paper RPGs called just RPGs and computer RPGs. Oh, like the gold box. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Well, Pearl ran the fuck off again. <laughs> God damn it, Pearl. You stop running away. I like CRPGs. I just, I personally probably wouldn't stream them, to be honest. Um... Now we kind of did one recently. Kind of. It's time, says Kaz. Hi, Kaz. Kaz says it's time. Um, I don't know if I would consider Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines a CRPG. It didn't feel like one. At all. It, it, it felt more like an adventure RPG. I don't know. I don't even really know, to be honest. Divinity Original Sin is one of your favorite games. Let me smash. I haven't played it yet. I still have to beat the first one. Download the Weedo Fix Pack. Uh, I don't own the original Planescape. I don't even think I own the remake of it either, or the remaster. So I don't have to worry about that. Becky isn't ready for you? Yeah, somebody sniped it in the uh, opening. <laughs> the opening minutes of the stream. <laughs> Poor Kaz. Mega Man Battle Network is set in an ambiguous year, 21st century alternate reality to the original series. Play as Mega Man EXE, who's a program character controlled by someone. You explore networks to beat W's, which is controlled by Dr. Wily. I see. It's an interesting concept, but what kind of game is it, like gameplay wise? Who did it? Uh, who did it? I think it was Zordon. <laughs> it was our boy Zordon there. <laughs> Zordon doesn't need tree waifu anymore. He has Becky. <laughs> oh, man. I do still have my original Baldur's Gate 2 discs. But I never actually owned Planescape. It's going really well, Mandel. I am really surprised I never got to play this. Like, there's this, this huge gap of RPGs that I never got to play. And that's why we have that watch list. Those are basically all games I basically never got to play and absolutely never owned. And it's an extensive list now. I feel like this is really needs to be the focus going forward. Is me playing all these games I always wanted to, but never got to, like these RPGs and stuff. Not 100%, but you know, like a main focus of where we're going with this channel. I think that's the way to go. I get to see something new and a lot of you probably get to see something new or something you've seen before. All right, no pearl here. Every time you look at that spreadsheet, you're like, damn, I should buy more games. You spend all your money on records. <laughs> really, as far as collecting goes, RP like video games is it for me. I don't really collect anything else. That's it. It's my hobby, but also my profession. So I do both. <laughs> I 
I do both. And yeah, you actually, that's an interesting point you're saying there, Spaz. The audio you're hearing is analog. I actually, before the component cable hits the, uh, the upscaler, I have it go into my splitter. And that splitter routes the analog audio directly into my mixer. So whenever I'm playing retro games, unless it's like Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, you're hearing pure analog audio. So you're not actually hearing digital audio. I mean, you technically are because you're watching it on a net on a, the internet, right? But I'm putting out analog that's split before it's it's converted to a digital video. Every time you look at that spreadsheet, you think you wonder if Cookie will let you mod your car. Wait, why? <laughs> I don't get the connection. Uh, is it because it reminds you of hobbies you want to do? That could be a connection. All right. I don't know where Pearl went. Let's put down this artifact, though. I think it's a good idea to put this down. Frozen heart. Let's see. Here's the start. One, two, three, four... Wait, one, one, two, three, four. We can put this one right here. One, two, three, four. Kaz, you're a goof, man. <laughs> you collect movies too? You have betas and laser discs? Oh man, I remember those. Control Mega Man on a three by six grid that's divided half. That means it Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a tactics RPG. I understand. Huh. Let's just put this here. Let's see what happens. Fig Snowfield. Okay. So we have a new uh, artifact. We have a couple places we haven't been to. Oh, I need to go to the orchard. I forgot I planted seeds here. I collected comics when I was a kid, but those are all gone. Basically everything I owned from when I was a kid is gone. I don't have anything. Not a thing. Except, like, a scant few games. That's about it, really. Maybe some old clothes in a box. I got some mint, heart mint. All right. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the lunar battle system, actually. I won't get BG3 in any early access if it goes early access. Absolutely not. I'll wait until it's done. I'll wait until it's done. I'm pretty excited for that though. I'm I'm hoping it has some kind of tie into the original games other than just the namesake, you know? Otherwise that's kind of shitty. All right. Let's plant some more seeds. Big seed. Long seed. How do I stream GBA? Uh, with a GBA player hooked up to a GameCube. And then I have a GCHD, which converts its digital output to HDMI. I'd, I'd show it to you, but it's it fits really snug in the GameCube, and I don't want to yank it out of there. <laughs> Do small and long. So we have so many of those. Uh, I have to use this software that uh, Dudette I watched helped me set up called uh, Swiss, which is run runs a Game Boy interface. That way you don't have to have the original disc, but you do have to have a specific disc with a like special memory card. It's kind of complicated. I don't fully understand it. She's the expert, honestly, on it. Every time I have any issues with it, I'm like, hey, you got a minute. You can help me with this. I'm confused. Uh, it's one of those things. 
Yeah, it is really nice, Crystal. It is. You've been playing old DOS platformers recently. Beating those... It still takes you, like, weeks. Dude, old platformers are really hard because they still have that mentality of, like, old arcade coin-ops where you need to die as much as possible so you put more quarters in. And, like, you know, home games still had that mentality for a long time. This is the memory card, though. You notice it's a special... SD reader for a game GameCube memory card. This is what's pretty one of the essential things I need to run my interface for Game Boy Color and GBA games. Yeah, like I said, iWatch is the one that helped me set it up. I don't know if she's still around, but she's a good resource to ask him that. And since Crystal says he uses it, he might know how to do it too. Does anyone have an 8-bit though? I was I was tempted, Mandel. Um Skapak was telling me about those recently, and they actually, he says they're really good, and I trust him. He's like the, basically the official streamer for RPGFan.com, so like, he knows a lot about retro games. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So he's pretty locked in on that kind of stuff. The only real platformer I ever played on DOS was called Commander Keen, and that game was fucking hard. Holy shit. That game beat my ass as a kid. <laughs> that game wrecked my face. Oh, I was terrible at it. I think I was like, I had to have been like eight or nine, something like that. I was pretty young. All right, uh, right, let's see. What do you think, folks? Should we, uh, where's Pearl? They keep, it <sighs> feels bad. I wanted to find Pearl, and I'm like, all right, where could she be? And I just legit have no idea. Like, this game didn't convey anything about that, so I'm trying to think if I should even worry about it. And I'm just, you know, I'm thinking probably not, to be honest. It's probably not even worth worrying about. You have it in a save data f form and load it onto your memory card. I mean, that's same. I put in siphon filter and it loads a corrupted save and then launches it. It's weird, but that's how it works. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, it talked about an afterlife. Uh, no, I don't remember. But I don't think I have anything like that. Oh, the underworld. We never fought all those dragons either. Bio Menace and Jill of the Jungle are free on Good Old Games. Good Old Games is awesome. There's that guy. He wants to kill dragons. Treasure Cove. I never heard of that. This game is hype music. Want to leave? I'll stay. I'll stay. GOG has Diablo 1. Your sister got you an inbox copy of Treasure Cove. Wow, how old is that? That had to have been a really hard find. That's really cool. Hellfire expansion? Can you get it without that? Because <laughs> the Hellfire expansion sucked. IMO. IMO. I still have my Diablo 2 discs. Um, I never had discs for Diablo 3. I think it was digital. 
It might have had a hard copy. I don't remember, to be honest. I never had it, though. Bow bab wood. Bow bab. Bow bab bab. Uh, no lie, but my copy of Diablo 1 was just a burnt disc in the 90s. There was no protection on them back then. My cousin gave it to me. <laughs> I didn't even know it was against the rules back then. He would just give me burnt games. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't realize you could do that. So he's the reason why I got to play Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and 3, Diablo, uh, Mech Warrior 2, Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. A lot of good stuff. Jacket Kane would be sad. He'll get over it. I'm pretty lost at this point. I don't know why I'm here. Hello. Rubens. Oh, it's you. I heard you're really helping my Jumi friends. Thanks. Rubens, he, he can't see me. Oh, you know what happened to me. Try to protect some of the other Jumi. He can't see me. Damn, I need to ask him. That's right, Durian, ask him for me. He might so know something of the Jewel Hunter. How about the Jewel Hunter? So it's her. I knew I've seen her face before. I wish it was a mistake. A traitor did this to you. I will avenge you, I promise. Okay, we got some little progress here. Somewhere out there, there's a Jumi who's thinking of me. Thank you. May your core shine through. Interesting. I just stumbled over here. <laughs> you still have about 200 burn CDs. Wow. Wow. I, I'm not sure, Mercasa. I don't know if you can play DOS games on a Mac. I don't really know anything about Max. You remember sitting in a bar when a man looked at you and said, I know what you're doing tonight. Diablo 3 drop. I knew exactly what he was talking about, but it scares me when random dudes say, I know what you're doing tonight. pretty funny and terrifying at the same time it, yeah that's what I want to know is DOS box actually work on a Mac I'd have to ask people familiar with those there's a good VM for Mac that will run you run DOS 6.2 games oh okay there's an app for DOS games on a Mac called boxer there you go Lorelana you might want to look into that Oh, I'm confused. Got him. Got him. Moon Rock Tiara. That's kind of crappy, actually. Diablo works on a Mac natively. I think she's looking for older of the games than that. Do have DOS box for Mac. There you go, Orlana. Check it out. Shrine of the Silent Faces. Oh, I can go in there. Okay. Wonder where this goes. DOS box for Mac makes Macs 1,000% cooler. You're wearing compression goes through your aching hands. Did those work? I know you said you were having problems recently, Motsi. We're getting old, brother. <laughs> we gotta start worrying about that. I found Treji. Oh, it's literally dirt. 
for a grave. It helps a little. Okay, that's good. Every time I hear this song, it reminds me of Zeno Gears. It just sounds like music you would hear in Zeno Gears to me. I got mirror piece. Okay. I really don't know what a lot of these items are for. I've never found a purpose. Boop. Thanks for the boop. Hear the wrench sound? No. I'm not sure what you mean. You kill enough time for your second antibiotic. All right, Spaz. Thanks for hanging out tonight, man. Sulfur. Okay. Fine and trenchy. Did I just go in a circle? I think it did. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, those are the guys that warp you out. I can't go in there now. Okay, weird. This was like the, the puzzle. You can't touch these guys or they warp you back. There we go. What is this? An easy enemy. All right. I'm thinking about old PC games I used to play. Those are a lot harder to play than just console games now. Generally, they don't port properly or they're just not available at all. So even if you have the original discs, you don't technically have the original hardware for them anymore and they don't always work right or at all. It's not like a console game where you could just get the original, pop it in and still play it. It's a lot different. Now, that also brings up something that iWatch has been working on and Ugu, where they're actually building a retro PC to play old games like that. So it uses all old hardware and old software, old operating systems. It's kind of cool. Shit. I hate this place. <laughs> Be like LGR. Uh, what's LGR? <laughs> Lazy game revies. Uh, I've never heard of that. But we did just watch that documentary about people doing stuff like that. So it's very topical. <laughs> it's on point. Lazy game reviews. You can link if you want. Yeah, go ahead.
Where are my abilities right now? Moon salt. Oh, right, right. Why am I using tackle instead of defensive tackle? Oh, defensive lunge. Whatever, same thing. That's better. Going to get an NES, get the top loader. Uh, I have an original front loader. And it had the pins replaced. So it doesn't have very many issues reading those games. It, they sit really snug in there, though. There we go. Got by him. There we go. Oi. Shrine of the Silent Faces. All right, so we just need to leave now at this point. LGR, weekly coverage of retro, retro attack PC games and more. I'll check it out. I will check it out. 8-bit guy. Not sure I've heard of that either. Ooh, more trashy. Aroma oil. I like finding treasures. I used to do that all the time, Lorelana, when I was a kid. Stand behind a fan and then just talk into it and you have robot voice? That shit's fun. <laughs> uh, I used to do it all the time. <laughs> robot voice is legit. All right, I guess we're leaving here. Did I get another quest? No, I didn't. I did not. Pearl in the aroma oil? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Ridiculous. Did he do the Vader voice through the fan? That's a pretty good one. Oh, I'm deep in that rabbit hole, Mandel. I wouldn't be able to do a hardware picture this good without it. All right, Vitium Ribbon. I think that's new. I think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that. That's new. Sultans. Oh, I, I have seen that. Okay. I just want to see what it does. There we go. Shades defense against Wisp. One spirit, one charm, one magic. Minor defenses. Yeah, that's not very good. Quite a lot of crampy items in this game, really. You're gonna buy this his kit when it comes out. What kit? What exactly is he making? Mercasa, I'm I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to answer the questions you ask most of the time because I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to keep trying to find Pearl, I guess. Since we had a little bit of story dialogue. Am I just running in circles right now? I think I am. Modern microcomputer akin to an old Commodore. Oh, okay. 
That's kind of cool. I just went down further. I don't want to go down further. I need to go up. Old Bun's control room. Oh, wait. I think that guy can send me out. Where to? Uh, the surface. Sweet. There we go. That's our way out. You, take me out. Take me back up. It's true, Miss Earl. The answer is usually yes, isn't it? <laughs> it's true. True story. All right. Um, I want to save. I think I can save in here. Should be able to save here. There's a statue. Ooh. I really need some tea and water. I'm feeling dehydrated. Whoa. I saw NPC movement on this map. That never happens. That might be something. Yo, get the... F the I don't need to go that way, actually. I need to go in here. We're going to save and see what that's about. I think it was over here that I saw the movement. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what that's all about. Temple of Healing. So did anyone have any other suggestions for retro RPGs, RPG likes for the systems on the the list for specially light on NES, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and GameCube. There we go. Had to sort that. Golden Sun. Oh, yeah. Good call. Golden Sun. Golden Sun. That's a really good call, Mercasta. I don't have those. Why the hell does it do that? There we go. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That's an RPG? That is a chocobo. BHN. Apparently, if you have save data from Final Fantasy VIII on the same memory card, you can get a chocobo. GBA, Visceral? Is it GBA? Okay. Mario... And Luigi, that's not even going to fit. Whatever. <laughs> it's like clipping into the next column. Eh, whatever. We'll leave it for now. Tales of Symphonia. I have that on PS3. I don't know how much different that is. Mario and Luigi 2 is on DS. I can't stream DS, unfortunately. DS and 3DS, I'm pretty limited on. I don't have hardware capture of those. It's all good, Mandel. Do you know a guy named Escad? He's Matilda's old friend, and it seems he finally came back. He's in there. Go ahead. I will allow it. Okay. Cool. We got some kind of progress going on here. Crystal Chronicles? I own it. I'm not going to play it. Nah, it's fucking garbage, single player. <laughs> Uh, I will pass on that one. I will play it when it gets the remastered release to this summer, though. That I will play. Probably with some other streamers out there that we've been talking about for like a year. That was a game meant for friends. Yeah. There's a few other big RPG streamers out there that want to stream that, and they invited me, and I was like, yep, I'm in. <laughs> Let's do it. 
They told me I was going to be the one navigating. I'm like, are you serious? Do you know how bad my memory is? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Uh. <laughs> That's going to be a hoot. Uh. <sighs> Matilda. It's been only 10 years since I went to the underworld. How is it possible that you ate so much? Oh, Escat, you are alive. It has only been only 10 years since I lost two precious friends. You and... Erwin? Eternal Darkness? I own that, but isn't that a horror game? I haven't streamed it. I thought Eternal Darkness was a horror game, not an RPG. <laughs> yeah, Valitra, <Avalanche>, sure. <laughs> I played Crystal Chronicles with Game Boy Advances as controllers with my uh, ex, and we couldn't play it more than a couple hours because we always had to strain our eyes to look at the damn GBAs, and those things are uncomfortable. They would make my hands cramp. It's horror? Yeah. Well, I'm looking for RPGs, like mostly retro RPGs and RPG likes. I'm not really looking for horror games. Stop thinking about that demon. He took away your elemental powers to fuel his own ambitions. It's fault that you've aged so much, isn't it? Don't say that. You're not as unhappy as you think. There's a Mega Man X command mission on PS2 or GameCube. Mega Man X command mission. Okay, um, figure out which system it's on and I can add it to the list. You'd love a Metroid game with sanity system and eternal darkness. Now, this is the thing. I, ha I own Eternal Darkness, and I wouldn't mind playing it someday, but I already own it. It's on the shelf. Uh, it was gifted to me by Blue Sammy a long time ago. Just haven't done horror games in a good year now, basically. PS2 or GameCube? Which is the better version, then? So, you overheard us. I guess you know everything now. Yes. That's good. Now get out of here. Haven't you said enough? I want you to leave. I have learned the way of the sword from Olbon. It is the wisdom's will to kill that demon. Eskad, I'm overjoyed to know both of you are alive. Isn't that enough? Mm -hmm. They're pretty much equal? Okay. I'm warning you, beware of him. You want to know about Erwin? Yes. Erwin, Eskad, and Matilda and I grew up together. Matilda was born into a family of priests, and Eskad in a family of knights. My family has served the temple as warriors. Erwin has demon's blood in him, but that's all we know. But no one in this world cares about what race you are. Of course, Matilda acted the same around Eskad and Erwin. Eskad didn't like that at all, so he tried to kill Erwin in the mines. But it was Eskad who ended up falling into the underworld. Erwin is not the one who started this. It's Escat. Oh, okay. The only difference was PS2 had a demo, and the GameCube had some additional collectibles that required GBA GameCube link cable, and they neither mean anything. Okay. Um, I'd probably just do... I don't know, to be honest. I honestly don't know which one I'd rather do. That's really cool, Mandel. How's D&D? Have you had time to do more D&D, Mandel? Have I done East? Uh, I've not streamed any East games, no. Those are good games. Um, I loved Oath and Felgana on the PC. That was an amazing remake of East 3. Whichever I can get for cheapest, gotcha. Oh, the NES one? I don't want to do that. I've played it. I hate the battle system in that game. <laughs> you basically have to like run into things at like kind of an angle, like an offset to damage them. I just, it's not enjoyable to me. I gave it a shot. I just, I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> I 
just I didn't like I didn't like the gameplay. <sighs> the easy games are good, but I didn't like the old ones. It's a master system. I think it's on NES as well. For the past 10 years, we've never had such problems. Why now? It's cool music. Sure. Tell me about him again. Doesn't say anything different. You have it for Master System? It's a rare game? Uh-oh. Mark, what happened to you? Uh. Your players are running games of their own. For the first time in five years, I get to play. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to think of like RPGs for the NES that I don't own. Like, I have Dragon Warrior 1 through 3. I don't have 4. So I guess I could technically add that. Let's do that. Add that. Dragon Warrior 4. Wait, do I have 4? I think I have 4. Let me double check. No, I don't. Okay. So Dragon Warrior 4. Add that to NES. I don't own that. Um, I have Final Fantasy 1. Mother, the original Mother was NES, but it never got an official release. So I wouldn't have a meaningful way of really getting a hardware version of that other than a reproduction cart. The Super Nintendo version is called Earthbound, um, but that's technically Mother 2. Oh, dang it. Darn it, that was someone disguised as a nun. Oh, off she goes. Everybody's just running off. I'm just a bystander in all this. Got an official release on the Wii U. That's, I don't own a Wii U, and I'm not interested in owning one. And that, that, to me, is not really an official release. It's a port. It's a port to the Wii U. I mean, technically, it's an official release, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to play ports. What was three on? Uh, GBA. Game Boy Advance. I also didn't get an official release. I got a fan translation. Technically, I can play those, but I didn't really like Mother 3. Like, I have flashcards. And I could add those to the next list to be voted on. You can make a working NES cart out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Oh, Bess, Matilda's been kidnapped. Close off all exits. Abbas. Abbas. Not a Bess. It's gotta be Abbas. Like Abby. Right. I understand, Miss Earl. Technically, the only way I'm ever gonna get to play Final Fantasy V is if it gets on the next list. Or voted on the next list. Uh, and I would just play the fan translation of the Super Nintendo version because it's the only, it's the original release. You know, I don't want to play the PS1 version. The audio is d is lesser quality and it has load times, you know? So there are some games that I otherwise can't obtain that are on the next list. Like Final Fantasy V. Um, or... Um... Final Fantasy 3, the NES version. That's another one. Um, those are, I think those are the two main ones I'm thinking of. Oh, well, no, no. Actually, now this is official since I was gifted this by Rack and Dactylus. But Seiken Detsetsu 3, I could play on the Switch. That would work, technically. But yeah, like, if... If given the option, I'm always gonna go with original hardware, if possible. You saw someone do it on YouTube? That's funny. All right, let's see if these NPCs say anyone say anything. The 
<coughs> oh man. These kind of things happen. Wow, these nuns are getting all nihilistic now. This track sounds like Parasite Eve. Kinda does. <laughs> See, look. <laughs> uh, it does. I mean, it's square, square soft, you know? You work for her, where don't you? What are you going to do to her? I only go by Lord Irwin's plans. Too bad. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Convenient teleportation magic. He can't leave the Tilly area with that sort of magic. This is going to be his last day on Earth. They just keep running. Oh, wow. Okay, bear. Thanks for doing that, dude. You're talking about the Genesis, right? So here's the thing that I th heard about Genesis is they have to have the right kind of power plug because I don't think like what was the technical term? Like some of them are like negative pole and some of them are positive. And if you use the wrong one in the Genesis, it won't work or it'll just break or something. Are TRPGs fine? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's the mineral b mineral kid. Sayuki Journey to the West on the PS1. I never heard of that. That got an English translation? I can't do fan translations of PS1 games. It's in English? Okay. Oh, I never heard of it. Sayuki Journey to the West. All right, I've added that. <clears throat> You've played that, Lorelana? What did you guys think of it, those of you that played it? It sounds pretty obscure. A collection of evil flumps. Nice. Oh, they are here. Good. We could find them. Monsters aren't supposed to be able to come in and out of the sanctuary. You could be in the meditation room. I've arranged it to be reopened in case of emergency. Well, I'm going to look for them. Okay, bye. I lost them. This place is too vast to search. They might be hiding, waiting until we're gone. Could have gotten away somehow. I'm going to look a little more. Okay. Neither one of them wants to come with. It's you and me, Elzul. I would just do a little, um, light research on that bear to make sure. You liked it. It fit what you were looking for at the time. You had just finished nine, so you wanted to stay in the same kind of genre. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, TRPGs are fine, which is why uh, Disgaea 2 is on the list. Uh, I never played any Disgaea other than the first one. What's up here? Pathway of asceticism. I'm definitely gonna get lost. That's okay. Oh, there's a sproutling. I love air. Good for you. Good for you. Amenes!
Let's go this way. Monsters are even appearing in the holy land of Gato. How sorrowful it is to see the flow of mana energy weakening. Usually she told me to leave. She's not telling me to leave anymore. Holy water. Okay. I like Treji. Wow. Okay. Joke mode. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Morph meat. Just read a horrible, awesome joke. Oh dear. Dare, dare I. Like that, exactly, Lorelana. You did it. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Tragedy! Vampire Fang. I still have no idea what almost all of this shit is for. I have so many items that I never use for anything. Okay. I figured that was one of those. What do you call it when one dog starts barking and it sets off all the other dogs in the neighborhood? Uh, I don't know. Universal cereal barks. USB. Have I been in my workshops lately? Uh, no. I haven't. I know I can make instruments. And I can, like, combine armor or whatever. Not exactly sure how that works. Needle baobab wood. Baobab. Baobab. I'm sorry for not laughing at that joke. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Is there like a reference I'm missing or something? USB. Right. Right. USB cables. Right. But what does that have to do with dogs barking and making other dogs bark? I don't get it. You lost. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, a play on acronyms. Okay. Jacko Beanie Rock. You did say it was terrible. Okay. <laughs> what? I just went to the beginning. Oh. Oh, this place sucks. I didn't want to go back to the beginning. Oh, well. Needle. Well, let's see if we can find our way around. Final Fantasy Nine. I love that game. Personally, I think that game was underrated. It's Lorelana's favorite Final Fantasy. Nice. High five. What's everyone's favorite Final Fantasy? Maybe you don't have one. 
It's definitely possible you don't even have one. Matsu, like seven. Emilio, like six. What do you call a big purple dog? Purple dog. Austin, you like the original. Cool. I have fond memories of that game, but whew, it has aged roughly, but I still like it. Ervin, you like ate the most. A Grape Dane. See, that one I get. That's a pun. I don't really like puns, but I get it. <laughs> I get it. There's a connection there. I get it. I get it. You like four the most? Four's good. I wa there was I wanted to play four for years as a kid, but I never had a Super Nintendo until I was ten. For so like three years or whatever I wanted to play it, never could. See Mandel like six then nine then seven. Orlando like seven nine seven then eight. Buddy like seven, six, then four. For me, like seven and six like bounce between the number one spot. It just depends on my mood. So they're effectively equal. Though I feel like six has aged way better. And I feel like six is put together better than seven. But I generally like seven a little more. Not always, but you know, it just depends. My mind can't make up its mind about whether which one I like more. So I just go with whatever I come up with on the spot. So different between the two. I know. I mean, seven was effectively instrumental in making RPGs and to a degree video games more mainstream. Strange rabbit came and drank up all the elixir. Without the elixir, most of the rituals cannot be performed. The blessed elixir. Okay, I just got a new quest. Cool. Two torches. The case of Matilda and Gato. Okay. I mean, blessed elixir as well. Blackened bat. Made with Gato's clean air and oasis water. Okay. I'm going to steal your treasure. Lot of wool. Yeah. That's a really good point, buddy. That was kind of what I was getting at. Six was at the height of the era. Seven was the beginning. Seven was like a lot of things seven did was just groundbreaking. Games generally weren't as long as seven or epic in their scope. Yo, Nicolo, he's drunk as hell. It introduced like or basically popularized and perfected the whole full motion video for cutscenes. Sleepy. <laughs> what are you looking at? I forgot what voice I did for him. It was like weird deep voice. Oh, I got a monster trying to attack me. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I got to defend myself before they get me. He's fighting me. Why are you fighting me? What are you doing? Let's hit him with dynamite. Don't miss. Oh, I fucking whiffed. He's throwing treasure. I can't get back there. There we go. I win. Six, nine, and seven as well for you, uh, 404. Here's why I personally liked nine so much. And I think it speaks to why Austin's favorite is one. Because to me, nine felt like a love letter to the whole franchise itself. Most notably, the fantasy aspects of Final Fantasy. And I feel like too many of the modern Final Fantasies aren't fantasy so much anymore. They're 
just like modern with Final Fantasy, you know, IP in them. And that's not bad, but it's not what I generally am looking for. You remember a top-down pixel airship? I mean, that could be a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of... I, I think Final Fantasy has had airships since the first game. So... Fifteen a product placement for Coleman and Cup Noodles. <laughs> How much more fantasy do you want? Oh boy, that's a pretty good track, Crystal. All right, I beat him up. If only I had a barrel in my soul. Airships and guys named Sid. Was Sid in the first one? I don't remember. I haven't played the first one in a long, long, long time. Haven't played Final Fantasy 1 since... College. 15 years. 15 years, I want to say. Now, don't get me wrong. When I do play Final Fantasy 15, I can tell you I'm probably going to enjoy it a lot. But... It's not what I'm looking for generally in a Final Fantasy game. But from what everyone's told me, it's a really good game regardless, and I'm going to f enjoy it. I'm sure I am. But that's why I like 9 so much. 9 is probably like number 3 for me as far as favorite Final Fantasies. I don't think Sid was in the first one, no. There really weren't many named NPCs at all in the first one at all. Unless they added him in like a remake, like the PSP remake. I don't recall, but, but maybe they did. How about I didn't fail that quest? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, this was clearly not where I was supposed to go. There's a Sid in one, but he's not in the original one. Then there's not a Sid in one. <laughs> then there is not a Sid in one, basically put. Is he in Final Fantasy 1? Not is he in, like, spin-off fan fiction. Is he in Final Fantasy 1, the game? Seventeen Zodiac age and way in the back eight. All the others are off the radar for you. Interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, to be honest. Ten two? I couldn't do. It didn't work for me. I just It just felt like a poorly written spin-off to me. I didn't enjoy it. Here's what upsets me about that. Ten two? It's a freaking awesome battle system. Probably one of the best in the series. And they wasted it on that game. <laughs> like, damn it. Put that fucking dress sphere system in another game? Oh, man. Oh, man. That'd be awesome. The dress sphere thing was freaking cool. Oh, Mandel. There's no question that I'm going to play it. I mean, look at the next list. Just look at that. Look how high up it is. It's going to be played. People have thrown a lot of support towards getting me to play that game. It's probably going to happen this year. More than likely. Very lost. I don't even know what most of that is, Yorm. <laughs> All I think I know what <clears throat> know there is the club soda, basically. That sounds like it's mega citrusy, though.
They retconned Sid into all the major name titles in the 20th anniversary release of FF1. So it was in a remake. Okay. What's the 20th anniversary release? What platform is that? Yo, it's Parks Lady. It is the PSP really late remake. Uh, how you doing today, Parks Lady? I'm very lost. Very, very lost. It's something. Is it good? Is the question. Is it good? Leave once I'm finished, she says. Getting ready for the week. Ah, yes, yes. Oh. It's like hot in here. I'm getting warm. I should just like turn off the big TV or something. You wouldn't call it bad, but it's not your favorite. Oh, I was just over here. Damn. Have you ever played Odin Sphere? I have the PS4 version of it. I streamed it a few times when it came out. It was pretty good. And I've heard it's better in every way than the original. Because the original apparently had like a lot of lag and QOL issues. That was one game that was suggested to me, but since I have the PS4 version and I already streamed it like three and a half years ago, I'm probably not gonna bother. Open a window, they are open. Yeah, it's it's it was actually pretty nice in Chicago today. It was like 40s. I think it still is. It's 51. Holy shit! It was almost 60 degrees today. Yeah, no wonder I'm so fucking hot. <laughs> uh, that's pretty warm for this little corner of the uh, the, the apartment. It doesn't get any airflow. Do I have Valkyrie Profile 2? Yes. It was gifted to me by iWatch. It's on the next list. It's on the next list. Um, it's got like 700 votes, so it hasn't gotten a lot of attention. I feel like I'm just going in circles at this point. Yeah. We're very lost. I found my way to the top, but didn't do anything. Yo, McClellan, what's good today? Mentally going through all the games you can think of. I'm, I'm generally looking for more things for, well, the whole list, but Game Boy Color, GameCube, N64, and NES, and potentially Super Nintendo could use some loving. As far as, you know, games that I haven't owned or played, if they exist. If they exist. Scubpox here, too. It's all good today, I'm calling. That's good, man. I'm, uh, for those of you that missed the documentary, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it after the stream and put it in the events collection so that it's easy to access effectively. I'm so lost. Yeah. Yeah, I understand, Miss Searle. 
Skapak, we added new systems to that list, if you can think of any games. I know you gave me a pretty big list previously. We added uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and GameCube. Snacks! Yes, that's right, Mandel. Yeah, well, I only play an OG. So these games that are being put on the list, I have to obtain. So whether I find a really nice deal on them on like eBay or someone gives them to me, it's gotta be original. That is my prime focus this year. Getting those blind RPG plays. There's the Spratling that likes air. Good for you. We're just going in circles at this point. Front mission a good gameplay, but it was so damn text heavy. Have I played Final Fantasy IV's randomizer? Yeah, but probably not on stream. I f maybe I played it on stream once? I don't remember. It's been a long time. Skies of Arcadia Legends. Skies of Arcadia Legends on GameCube. Okay. Skies of Arcadia Legends. The only reason I've heard of Bait and Kaitos is because it has the most memeiest speed run of all time. If you do a hundred percent speed run on Bait and Kaitos, it's like 360 hours. <laughs> uh, Tales of Symphony I have on PS3. Skies is something I'd like. Okay, I added that. The game's expensive. Boy, what game is it at this point? You know, I was eBay hunting the other night and I didn't end up picking any, anything up because money. But some of the games, like the PS2 ones, aren't that much. Like uh, the Dark Cloud games or whatever. Those really weren't too bad. I was surprised. I never played or owned those games. Oh my God, how many times am I gonna go in a circle? I don't know what this game wants for me right now. I'm supposed to be chasing someone. People, NPCs ran off in here to find them and nobody's around. Nobody's anywhere to be found. Short and sweet game. So Dark Cloud. Ow. Final the PSU that came with the original Genesis. They designed it to have a power failure because the console wants nine volt. The PSU outputs ten volt to burn them out a bit faster. Atelier Iris 1, 2, or 3. Aren't those those games that are like all about uh, crafting or whatever? Is that the right... Am I thinking of the right thing? Atelier. Yeah, I gotta grab... We gotta get some of those, Skapak. We gotta get our hands on some of those. It's more RPG than crafting. It's PS2? said Atelier Iris you like those all right I'll add them sure why not there's three of them on ps2 which kind of blows me away that's kind of crazy to me okay I added those Cancun bird nest there's nothing here Game, what do you want from me right now? 
It's an annual release kind of game. Oh, okay. There's like 10? Yeah. I remember seeing them marketed for the 360, and I was like, what's this game series I've never heard of? It was getting like heavy marketing in this when 360 was still kind of new. Uh, to the temple. The newer ones are mediocre. Interesting. I'm trying not to fail this quest. Leave once you're finished. No, you. Hopefully I didn't fail it. Two torches. I have no idea, friends, what this game wants for me right now. I guess we're just going to leave. Quality goes down when you try to release annual games. Fair enough. There's five Atelier games on the PS4. Wow. That's unexpected. All right, we're just leaving. I don't know what the game wants me to do right now. No stranger to that, though. Uh, let's go to Lumina and talk to the bunny guy. We just had to beat his ass in combat. That was weird. That was pretty weird. Dun, 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 See if he's still here. And if he has anything to say for himself. Bunny guy. He's still talking about a psychokinetic flowerling. Okay. Well, that was a dead end. I got nothing. I have no idea. Let's go visit our workshops, I guess. <laughs> I'm at a total loss. Seems like most of the recommendations are PS1 and PS2. Though I think that's a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've played a lot of RPGs on Super Nintendo. Have I played Robotrek on the SNES? Oh, I own it. Oh, Pearl's here. What's she doing here? I have played Robotrek on the SNES. It's on the next list. It's never gotten any votes, though. Mostly because I don't think anybody knows what it is. To be fair. I don't think anybody knows what it is. I love that game as a kid. It had really good packaging. It came with this cool, like, fold-out poster that had a bunch of recipes on it that you could use. It's so warm. Is it? Is it warm? What are you doing here, Pearl? Why are you in my home? Take me on a search for them. No. No. No, I want to take Pearl. So she can just stand around and not do anything. She kind of does that, doesn't she? Is that the robot Pokemon? Uh, no. No, it's not like Pokemon at all. Because it's warm? Touche. Touche. Robotrek, you basically make your own robots and then you craft all their weapons and accessories and stats and builds and it's got an interesting story. It's kind of goofy. It's, it's, it's pretty goofy to be fair, but I like it. I like it. It's pretty unique as far as RPGs go. Demi Kid Games on the GBA. I've never heard of those. 
As far as Pokemon style games go, I've only played Pokemon Red and Dragon Quest Monsters, one of them on Game Boy. I don't remember which. It's only been like a million years. You love Dragon Quest monsters? Yeah, I did too. It was pretty good. You never played a single Pokemon game? Golem Lab. This, I don't... This is the thing that I unlocked that I just don't even want to bother with. This, like, the concept of this is so cool, but it's so convoluted. And I just, re and it would replace Boko. Like, you can take a golem with, and it'll fight with you. But I'd rather have Boko. So, it kind of defeats the purpose of that. And then I can make instruments over here, and that's it. I don't have still no means of using all these craft ingredients that I have at all. All crafting go game in this game is convoluted. So it seems. Just take it, you take it. Let's feed Boko some food. What is the stuff I wanted to give him? I have notes for that. Yeah, we found Pearl. She's just sitting in my house doing nothing. I don't really have any food that I want to give him. It never gives me the food I want. Squalfin, no. Citrus squid, no. Apricot, no. Whalemato, no. Pine o'clock, no. Fishy fruit, no. Orca plant, no. Sweet Maui, no. Spiny carrot, no. Cabadillo, no. Need a lettuce, no. Cherry bombs, that'll work. No, you. Lily pods, no. Bumpkins, nope. Heart mint, spade, basil. I like that you can feed him meat. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh. I never get any of the food I want, sadly. Yeah, no, it's not Pokemon. You don't catch anything in it at all. It's not Pokemon at all. Do, 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 do. It's so warm. That's all she says. It's so warm. Okay, Pearl. Well, stay as long as you like, I guess. Catching is not required for a Pokemon like. Strongly disagree with that. That's literally the main mechanic of Pokemon. Do 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 do. Why do I want to kick her out? I don't want to kick her out. I want her to go with me. And she just sits there and mopes. <laughs> As soon as I tried to go in the house with Elizul, he left. I was like, come on, she's right there, dude. She's right there, man. Silly guy. The person you keep looking for is right here. Just walk through the door. Just walk through the threshold. She's right there. You can do it. He doesn't want to do it. He's afraid. <laughs> Yo. Oh, he's not here now. Oh, boy. Well, that's different. Hmm. Anything happened when I left? Nope. Not a thing. Let's see if I have failed any quests. 
Hopefully not. Doesn't look like it. Good. All right. Blessed Elixir. That's a quest. The petrified Gilbert guy is a quest. You like counting stars. Kitty go go. Such a good emote. It's the best. It's the best. Guest room. Hooray. Well, I can't bring Elzel with anymore. He has disappeared. You sending me your old GameCube copy of Luigi's Mansion. Dude, okay. <laughs> I've never played those. Kitty go go. We rocking out. You say anything new? No, you're just tutorial person. Creepy tutorial person. Have you ever played a Xenosaga? Uh, briefly played Xenosaga 1, when, right around when it came out. Couldn't finish it. Just couldn't do it. I kept falling asleep when I was playing that game because there's no fucking music in it. <laughs> I'm not lying. I kept falling asleep. It just... I feel bad. If you like it, good. I didn't. It was one of the most boring RPGs I ever played. And the only reason I played it is because I had heard Xenogears was so great. She's still saying the same fortune. Um, so the reason I never played Xenogears for so long was because I had played Xenosaga first. And that soured my opinion. Yo, Regison, hello. That's not a question. That's not a question, Reg. The feel when you play Xenosaga before Xenogears, yeah, that's what happened. But I mean, a lot of you saw what happened when I finally did play Xenogears. That game was great. That has like one of the best stories in an RPG I've ever seen. I was very impressed by that. And, and sub consequently extremely disappointed by the second disc. I just ran out of time and money. <laughs> Let's just straight up just ran out of time and money. It was so, so disappointing. It was pretty questiony. Was not reg. Was not a question. I disagree. How you doing today? So Elzul's missing. Niccolo doesn't want to talk to me. Some priest got kidnapped. I can't do anything about that. There's nothing doing right now. Prepping to watch your car in the garage. That sounds mind numbing. Wash. Okay, that's different. That's different. That actually requires activity. <laughs> I'm just going to pull up a lawn chair and stare at my car. Like, all right. <laughs> you make sure it doesn't jump or nothing. I just see Rag just sitting there and like re reclining in like a cheap ass lawn chair, sipping shitty beer and just staring at his car like. Mm-hmm. Still a car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For like hours. 
Uh, yeah, this is the life. Watching my car. Have I played Vagrant Story? No. That's on the list, and I want it. I really want that game. That is high on my list of games to get. Do not own it. I have played it during a 24 hour stream for an hour and I don't remember much. I was so exhausted. So, so exhausted. That was my one and only 24 hour stream. I felt physically ill for like two days after it. So I was like, I'm, I'm never going to do this again. Like you literally kill yourself doing something like that. All right. Let's go to the Bone Fortress. Why not? We've never been there. Do I want it? Wait, are you serious? Is it NTSC? Or is it PAL? Because I don't think I can do I don't think it'll work for PAL. It is NTSC. Yes. <laughs> yes. A thousand times. The field trip. It's US. A thousand times yes, I want it. Vagrant store, dude. I've been wanting that for a long time. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Send it to my PO box. Let me know when you send it. I hope. That's amazing. I can I can fucking mark that one off now as in transit. If you're serious, dude. Oh, you said you gotta look. You gotta look, right? Let me know. You wanna play Sword of Mana for GBA? I got to briefly play it on Thursday, and now I want it. You know, like I'd like to, I'd like to play it someday. It was it wasn't bad. It really wasn't. It reminded me of uh, um, Seiken Densetsu Three in the gameplay. I mean, you are Ervin. This is the thing. I've been doing this for four years. I'm kind of used to doing this now and getting better at it a little bit at a time. So <laughs> it's what I do for a living. I'm, I, it's not just someone giving me a game to play. It's someone giving me the game to play and stream for all of you, you know? So it's a, it's kind of a community thing is the way I see it. Yeah, I know, Visceral. I really wish I could, but getting hardware capture 3DS these days is, it's like damn near impossible. Sounds good, Mandel. I'll wait. I'll hold off on checking that until I hear for otherwise. I don't, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched. You know what I'm saying? He wants me to gather reagents. Okay. It's the mummy teacher. Miss... Miss... It's Ennis. It's alright, we're working hard. Good. Wow, she's spooky. <laughs> yeah, Katsu Kitty went out of business and they were the... The place to get hardware capture. For a 3DS. I have streamed 3DS. I used the NTR method. It's not very good. Um, it really isn't. And it only works for 3DS games. But it basically like, it requires like a modded, soft modded 3DS. And it's streaming method is literally, it takes JPEG, low quality JPEG pictures as many times a second as it can and streams them directly to your router. It's janky as fuck. Um, and there were times when I was streaming it where the actual video capture for the stream was falling behind like, t like half a minute or more. So it was totally out of sync with what I was seeing and the audio, it was terrible. It was just, it's not worth it. It's, it's it was really lousy. I think I've heard of that, Viscerol. I don't know much about it, though. But it's... 
I think it's close to $500 or something like that. Like to get one of those with the modification. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. Like I, as much as I want to be able to stream 3DS and DS RPGs, I'm not going to emulate them. Um, I emulated some of those Zelda games because I had no choice. Um, the, uh, D the DS ones. And I just, even if those were the best Zeldas ever, I didn't really enjoy the, that way of playing them. It breaks super easy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the German guy got most of his from Katsu Kitty. So there's no one that makes them anymore, as far as I know. It's basically just like a non-existent option. Yo, 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 I'm stuck. Get the, there we go. That was alarming. Single point supply is a nightmare. Yeah, it's crippled the 3DS capture industry. It's not, it basically doesn't exist anymore. Here's a gypsy tooth. I'm so tired. Fairy scales. Okay. I found some olive pen. What? Uh. Oh dear. One of them is okay. Oh fuck. Okay. This is gonna be one of those. Trial and error. God damn. All right, so Oli Pen. Do any of these people actually say what we need or give me hints? No. Triple reagent mixing assignment. Streamer, you saw a streamer with a selfie stick to hold the phone camera steady. I mean, that's honestly, that's an option for me, but it doesn't look very good. It literally would be the old school way of capturing 3DS. And playing with that, like control wise, is really uncomfortable. Because I'd have to lay it flat on the desk and then be able to hit the controls that way. Oh, it would be terrible. The pure jank. Green moss. Okay. So here, green moss. Grass or grass or you're tired. Holy pen. Okay. All right. How many are accurate here? Nope. He says nope. Nope. Okay. Does that mean none are accurate? I'm not sure. The German mod are still doing this. It's 305 euro plus shipping. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Rat tail. Uh, this is blue. Blue kid. In case we have to refine them. Rolly pulley. What's that? Like a purple flower girl. Purple. Flower girl. I can't even read my own handwriting. This is trash. Sproutling leaves. Jeez, so much writing. Sprout leaves. Uh, green kid. All right. Give it a shot. 
Nope. He just said nope. Not even a hint if any of them are right. Nothing. He gave me nothing. He gave me nothing. All of our technology has spoiled our ability to write. I guess. All right, what do you have? Fairy scales. Okay. This is another blue kid, so I'll say first blue kid. This is going to be a lot of writing and trial and error. Green moss. I don't think green moss is anything. First flower. Holy pen. Again? Okay. Nobody's saying mods or mots. Moss. M O S S. One of them is okay. Okay. One. Okay. I sure wish I could ask the fortune teller in Domino. Okay, let's do that. The fairy scales? You think the fairy scales are okay? Maybe you're right. Trot, 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 trot. Trot, 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 trot. A horse statue prevents cavens. I know, right? If she says that again, I'm going to be very upset. I've never seen a horse statue anywhere in this game. Anywhere. I do have one cave I can go to. Well, a couple to be fair. I don't think I've checked them recently. Yo, lady, I'm not trying to talk to you. Fortune. Fortune tell. It's too busy preventing cave guns to show up in the game. Touche. I think you might be right, Reg. It says a red flowerling, a blue student, and a silver mushroom. Ha! Red flower. Blue student. Silver mushroom. What could that mean? Nobody knows. It's a great mystery. Burr, 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 burr. I need green mots. Fuck your mots. I could use green. I could use uh, greens on a pizza. That's always fun. Uh, damn it, Elzul, where'd you run off to? Burr, burr, burr. Next gen console. You missed this game. Well, you get to get a little bit of vicarious experience out of it this way. You feel like an exhausted mad scientist, Eagle. Why is that? And welcome in, next gen. Nice to meet you. All right, let's see if we can get this solved now without the trial and error. Green gummies? Green gummies. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not sure what would happen, to be honest. Red flower, blue student, silver mushroom. Silver mushroom. Are you a silver mushroom? You don't look silver or mushroomy to me. I don't see any mushrooms. Am I not looking hard enough? Huh. Blue student. 
Can't find a thing. Can't find a thing. Whoa. Red flower. Are you a red flower? Can't find a thing. What happened? Did we fail? No, the field trip's still there. Maybe I have to talk to the guy first. Finish resurrecting your old video editing server and upgrading it. I will gather them. Okay, let's try that again. Blue student. Rat tail. Red flower. Fuck. I can't really tell who's a flower and who's a mushroom. They all look like flowers. Silver mushroom. Does any of them look silver? No. No, none of them look silver. That's that's really throwing me off. Nor do any of them look like mushrooms. Red flower. Green moss. Alright, now let's look at one of these that looks sort of silver. Gypsy tooth. Okay. Yeah, anchoring. That's not it. That didn't work at all. Blue student. Fairy scales. Red flower. The fuck? None of you look like flowers or mushrooms. Uh, I guess they kind of look like flowers, but so do they. <laughs> Gypsy tooth. Star Sparkles. Face Star Jip. Almost. Ooh. So fairy scales and either star or gypsy tooth. Red flowerling. Yeah, I know, but none of them look like mushrooms. I don't know what's a flowerling and what's a mushroom. They just all look the same. All right, so this kid's right up here. I know that. We know fairy scales is right. Fairy scales. Star sparkles. Star is from pink antenna guy. Green moss. I don't think green moss is right. This is like a purple pink girl. Bam. Almost. I think star sparkles are right. I'm pretty sure star sparkles are right. So we're going to go fairy scale star sparkles. Pink antenna. So this guy. And then we're looking for silver mushroom.
The fuck? None of them look silver. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, what about you? Spotted silver mo Oh, okay. Well, that's probably it. Let's try it. She literally said my silver mushrooms. Give her a shot. Yes! We made some triagran. Little kids take this. It makes their heads explode. One time, Bud drank some of this by mistake, and he ran around all day. I can't give you any triagran, but take this. Oblong seed. Wow, that was it? That was the shittiest reward I've ever gotten in this game. <laughs> that was terrible. But we won, at least. Uh, he could have given me an artifact. Anyway, let's go tell the cactus that we wasted our time. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm going to go back there after this. See if anything comes of it. Next gen. Oh, I see. I see you, you remember buying this in Tenchu to the same day? It said next gen console. What, uh, what are Tenchu games like? I've only heard of them. Pearl. It's so warm. Yeah. Sure. Dots. Lamo! Checks out. Tenchu says, Seahook says Tenchu is the stealth assassin? I don't know. Their stealth assassination deals, they will be an endless source of comedy and the use of fail. <laughs> I see. Murmuring forest. Glass tower. No. Where is it? Field trip. I think it was called field trip. Third day. There it is. Picking up stuff from the ground, mixing them, and making them go boom. Isn't that a little bit childish? Didn't your mommy tell you not to do things like that? No. <laughs> no. She didn't. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we still have all our current quests. None of them failed. All right, good. All right, I need mana. Legend of Manana. It's a good game. I highly recommend it if you've never played it. <clears throat> orange fruit is orange. Cantaloupe, right? And I got mango too, which is what it's all about. I love mango. But yeah, you go, your, your butt is orange. D yeah. Your, your butt is worn orange. You got, got him. Got him. Got him. I told him. <laughs> Spiny carrot. I don't want it. He knows my secret. Bumpkin. What's this? This looks different. Garlic crown. I don't need that. I don't think. Do I? Nope. <clears throat> Masked potato. Long, long seed. Let's do fucking double long. Why not? Long, long seed. Castro, that cake you made? Oh my god. All right, here. Prepare all of your eyes. 
You're about to be really hungry. <laughs> because damn. Because damn. Let me let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. That this looks awesome. Look at that thing. Look at that. Catchdrill made that. I know, right? Crystal's like, oh my god. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I would go diabetic for that cake. <laughs> that is some serious cake right there. Castro makes some serious cake. Holy crap. It'd settle for the recipe? I know me. I'd never make it. Never. Doesn't matter how good the recipe is. I'd know myself. I'd sure eat it, though. You found it, man. Well, nice, dude. Let's go back to the bone zone. You know, I'm not talking about the champagne room. The bone fortress. Barry still waiting for the strawberry pie. Sure. <laughs> Probably somehow give her food poisoning. Let's not look at the mess you just made. What did you find anything else in your search? Sometimes it's fun doing that because you find stuff that you forgot you had. Oh, I can buy stuff from this guy. <gasps> he sells seeds and food. Interesting. Does he have any food I need? Dia Laurel, I need. That's it. Well. It's expensive, though. Everyone else has gone home. I like angel food cake with Cyril. There's exactly. Thank you, Vlitra. <laughs> thank you, dude. I was wondering if somebody would get that one. <laughs> Yo, mysterious dude. You have the bits emote. For those of you that don't know, we have one for a thousand bits. That's a permanent unlock. So if you ever give at least a thousand bits on the channel, you get that cute little lurk emote. Permanently unlocked. Just like a sub emote would be. So you could use it anywhere on Twitch. How are you, loot dude? You're confused why you had it. You must have given at least a thousand bits at one point in time on this channel. All right. The bone zone is just a merchant at this point. There's no sacks in the bone zone. None at all. Sorry. Homie, don't play that apparently. Lots of fun. I'm sorry, Mandel. I hope the cleaning efforts go fine. There might be. You, you right. There might be. Going to get more bidding modes? Yeah. That's how we'll play it. Let's go to the Mindus ruins, I guess. It's either that's it. It's either that or the Feig snowfields. Actually, let's do Feig Snowfields. I'm going to go there. We haven't gotten to do snow anything yet. That's a situation where we need a Finder. So it'll be same emote code. So Finim, it'll say Finimederp. Finimederp. So I'm sure the text-to-speech bot's going to have a lot of fun with that one. Diddle -diddle. 
And whenever my hug love emote gets done, it's going to replace F. F's going to go to tier two. And then the shrug is going to go to the bit emotes. F is our least popular emote. So that one's getting the bump to tier two. Now Kratos, there's no such thing as fairy treasure. Your deceased wife will not come back to life. Can't look back. Yeah, I've never seen a hype train, Visceral. I've seen a message in other channels, but I never really understood it. I know they're enabled on this channel, but I've just never seen one. I might have it set too high or something. I don't know. You have those forever. So that's kind of the balance. It's just more ways to give you guys emotes. That's just the way I got to look at it, you know? If I had a ton of sub tier one sub emotes, I'd always focus on that, but I don't. I only have five. We're looking to fix that this year, you know, as part of our new, uh, our new focus this year, and I think we're gonna do it. Jeez. <laughs> Sun top with two gift subs to the community. Oh, Dom Barry coming in to give some new folks some stabby love. Boop, boop. It is spin time, isn't it? It is spin time. You understand you'll just miss your shrug. I mean, I'll, I can leave it open to discussion, but... I can tell you way more people will probably have that shrug at 10,000 bits than they do right now. Does that make sense? And you want to see me go to RPG Lumber Break? Thank you, dude. Thank you. Is Reg here? He, I, he was. Regison, are you here? Because we're spinning the wheel. We're spinning the wheel. What's going to be at 1K? Uh, something's already at 1K. Holy shit. <laughs> Ban Regison. <laughs> it's Ban Regison. Bad of no. <laughs> Anchorin. <laughs> Holy crap. Four gift subs from Anchorin. Lots of new people to give comfy Tomberry stabs to. <laughs> That one, Neo. Durian just showed you. There you go. You can use that anywhere now. Permanent unlock. I thought that would be a good one. We were super lurker friendly around here, right? And everybody agreed that a lurk emote would be really good for the first one. Because of how much we love lurkers around here. I hope you like it, Neo. Now you can use it anywhere. Number 019 Windows 95 is the best system to enjoy your bit emotes. Oh boy. Oh, the number didn't update. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Good call. Oh, God, I'm being eaten by white rabbits. I'm being eaten. I should have brought help. We're gonna be all right. At active or ATP active with the gift sub. Jesus. Sun top with another. Tom Bear is gonna be real busy tonight. He's putting in overtime. Boop, boop. Yo, thank you guys. Where's Regison? We need to ban his ass. <laughs> Thank you so much, people. Uh, much appreciated. We're going to spin the wheel after this fight. 
Get the holy head grenade. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Tom, Mary, Paul, and double shifts. Ain't he, though? All right, here you go. What are we going to get? Wow, it's going really fast this time. I don't know, Eagle, what it's at. One minute emote only mode. <laughs> Let's see. Hype train is enabled. Oh, this is a new setting, apparently. It was set to seven. That wasn't there before. You can you can pick now. I'm gonna set it to four. Seven is too many. Alright, I changed it to four. Why was it set to seven? Who do you think I am? <laughs> All right, here we go. One minute emote only mode. Twitch global emotes and sub emotes only for one minute. Go nuts. Start showing all your emotes off, everybody. Every emote you got. Sub or not. That Cortland one is pretty funny. <laughs> Tentacles touching poor Yuna. Oh no. Okay, I like those gold eagles. That's really cool. Is that your tier three? That's really neat. I like that. That one was done well. What is that one anchoring? What am I looking at? It is a butt. It's an upside down butt. It's an upside down butt. The butt is upside down. I got odd meat. Odd. The meat is odd. Much like my personality. It's very odd. It's odd. Oh my god. There's so many good colorful emotes out there. This is great. Look at that dog from Sea Hook. <laughs> dog. That dog looks like he's seen some shit. Ooh, altered Alice. I like Alice. She's fun. Alice is cool. Boom. Sword Mouse. That's her husband, I think. He's cool, too. Tragic! Tragic! All right. All right. Emote only mode is off. I got sharp claw. Look at that Finny Bear. He's got big, beefy arms. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty messed up. Sharp claw. Is that crafting? Oh, it might be equipment. It's not. Okay. It's not. Throat slitter. Nothing. Okay. You can talk again. Yay. What's up, Heckle? How's it going? Boom, boom, boom. Wow, these things are hard. Well, they're not hard. They just have a lot of hit points, to be fair. They give a hell of a lot of experience, though. And money. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I haven't seen Frisk in a long time. Um. Okay, what was I going to say? <laughs> Space cadet right now. What was I talking about? Mandel. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you. If you're down with sending that, I'll check it off, man. I would be happy to stream that game this year. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I still have a hard time not calling her Dulzang. But I think her new name is better for her. I think it was a smart play of her to do that. Look, it's a sprite. It's a poopoy. 
Oh boy. Do, 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 do. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, we were talking about emotes. <laughs> and then we got emote only mode. Oh yeah. We <laughs> it's so, so bizarre. It really is. It's re really bizarre. It is just, it's crazy. You joined in at the oddest time, says Icy Jimmy Jam. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so, dude. Uh. <laughs> Look at the on-screen chat. It's trying to keep up, too. It's, it's Ragusin. Hi, Rag. Everyone say bye to Rag. Everyone say bye. <laughs> Rag, we have a present for you. We made it just for you, man. We made it just for you. This is for Rag. Bye. <laughs> Boop. There we go. There we go. XP's. Those fish guys are just. Every time you fight them, you get tons of experience and money. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty darn sweet. Boom, 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 boom. You had to reconnect the chat so you broke your chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the on-screen chat takes forever to catch up, too. That's the funny part. Back up your belongings. We are leaving. What about the fairy treasure? I'd much rather see ourselves alive. Let's go. But your brother lost his life looking for the treasure. You're looking for the treasure to save your brother, right? It's believed that fairy treasure lets you meet the deceased, but perhaps he was reunited with his wife through death. Mr. Mefiance. Oh, that's the teacher. Okay. What is it? Can we sit by the fire just a little bit longer? Go ahead. Cool. Monsters and ice witches, huh? Give me your treasure. Knockout dust. Okay. Wad of wool. <clears throat> There's an ice witch up ahead. I want to go home. Maybe Nekratos has a whole new life now. But... Students, stay here. I will be right back. Uh-oh. Mr. Mifunts. Oh, dear. He did done ran off. I'll tell you what. He just ran off like a bat out of hell. Nice on top. You may have made a big mess to find one game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be that much of an inconvenience. Hopefully it won't be too hard to clean up. I got a silly eye. Whiffed. Give me that. There we go. Lizard meat. I wonder what lizard meat tastes like. I don't think I've ever had any kind of reptile meat or any anything like that. Anyone ever had any kind of reptile meat before? He's blind. Oh, no. Alligator meat. What's it taste like? Tastes like chicken. Wait, really? 
It's just tough. Oh, okay. You know what the best meat I've ever had? Well, the best burger I ever had was an ostrich burger. No question. It was like 99% lean and it tasted just like beef. Not even kidding. I don't know how, how, but it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Angel feather. Sleepy eye. Snapper turtle is pretty good. Never had turtle. Is it even legal to eat turtle in the United States? We count birds since they are descended from dinosaurs. Makes sense. Best meat you ever had was bobcat. Interesting. notice why everything sounded weird. The stereo is reversed. <laughs> uh, did you miss anything while dealing with work? You missed a putty putty. Putty putty, a noble attempts at a hype train, which were apparently set too high of a threshold. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. I feel bad now that there was a threshold. <laughs> it wasn't there when I first looked. Buddy, yours is to trap turtles and make stew every year? I'd try it. Giant's horn. Um... I'm usually pretty open-minded about trying new foods. There's hunting and trap movements on certain turtles. Oh, okay. So it's specific turtles. Got it. I like food too. Welcome back, Reg. Hi. Hi, hello. Reg's here. All right. I'm trying to find some poor guy that was frozen. The worst food I ever had was... Uh, all right, Mandel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a um, escargot. <sighs> God. Oh. You're not allowed to eat turtles there unless you're part of an Aboriginal tribe. These things were draining my power. Wow, these are actually kind of tough. I should have brought help. Bones and meat. Yeah, escargot is... God. It basically just tasted like... Like I was eating like the worst flavorless, worst textured sausage I ever had in my life. Like really gummy and the skin was really thick and rubbery and oh God, oh, it's terrible. There's not a lot of food I don't like. And that was, ooh, that's not something I ever want to try again. <laughs> Now, for reference, I absolutely love sushi. Especially eel. But the escargot? Ooh, terrible. Head cheese is something I'll probably never try, Sea Hook. I used to work in a deli. And just having to slice that stuff taught me that I never want to eat it. Oh, yeah, I love eel sushi. Escargot is an excuse for garlic butter. If I want garlic butter, I'll just make it. 
I love garlic butter. You asked what head cheese was, you regretted it. <laughs> yeah. Head cheese is all the stuff you don't want, basically. I'm running in circles. Crap. Where did this guy go? Well, for starters, head cheese isn't cheese. It's not cheese or any kind of dairy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's basically everything. Like, it's just imagine if someone was like, a butcher took all the parts that go in the trash and decided to make a loaf out of it. That's effectively what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Grangy off. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Among other things, yes. <sighs> Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking revolting. And it just smells bad, too. Ugh. You thought head cheese was just people from Green Bay, Wisconsin? <laughs> oh, no. God damn it, Eagle. <laughs> Do we want to know what's actually in it? Go ahead. Oh, I'm getting a lot of levels here. I keep going in circles. Jelly made with the flesh from the head of a calf or pig. Yeah. It's. Ugh. I suddenly don't want to eat my fruit now. <laughs> uh, I, I hate myself for reading that. <laughs> it's worth it to eat mango. Now, you know what I have had that's actually really good? Tripe. I couldn't believe how good it was. Maybe their cooks were just amazing, but that was really good. Moralana says that info should have been left in the annals of time, Thor. <laughs> Isn't it annals? Uh, in modern society, yes, but in this channel, it's annals. And you can't prove otherwise. It's Blue Sammy's favorite expression. <laughs> That's worse than head cheese. I like the tripe. I had it at this... Italian restaurant in New Jersey called Ippolito's. The two owners were a married couple, I think from Southern Italy, who were no joke, both about four foot 11. I'm not exaggerating. Shortest adults I ever met in my life. And they were incredibly good cooks. I had the best Italian food of my life there. It was amazing. 
Tripe is pretty similar to Haggis, from what I've heard, yeah. From what I've heard. It's basically like intestine that's like fucking acid bathed in like ammonia to get all the bad shit out of it. And then, so it's like eating like a sausage with really good sauce and pasta. Effectively. It was actually really good. I thought it would be disgusting. I tried it and I was... Like I said, I'm pretty open-minded to try things. And when they told me it was intestine, I'm like, man, I don't know. But I tried it and I was like, this is really good. <laughs> it was really good. I was just very pleasantly surprised by it. Yeah, I've never had Haggis, though. I don't know what Loot Fisk is, either. Luke Fish? Loot Fisk? I don't know what that is. Some guys, you know about the Carolinas brack about the Rocky Mountain Oysters? I'd honestly try them, but I'm pretty uncomfortable with what they are, Sea Hook. Like, I know what they are. Um, I'd try it, but it's not something I'd make a habit out of. Just to say I've tried it, you know? Here in Pennsylvania, you fry slices of scrapple. Flour, cornmeal, and all the scrap parts from pigs that don't get used for other stuff. I'd try it. I'd try it. I mean, think about it. What the fuck is a hot dog? That's basically what a hot dog is. It's just all the leftover shit that's minced. I'd try it. <laughs> it might be really good. I'm a hot dog? Oh, thanks. That's so sweet of you. Matsy's over here being the uplifting viewer. Look at that. Such a nice guy. Alright, I, I think I need to leave here. They said there's an ice witch, but I'm just running in circles. I'm really bad at finding anything in this game. <laughs> what the hell? Cincinnati has a very regional sort of scrapple called Goetta. And well, how is that uh, different? Honestly, I've been eating a lot less hot dogs, Lorelana. Pork doesn't sit well with me for the same reason it doesn't you most of the time. I don't have a gallbladder. So it just hurts to eat most of the time, unless it's lean. Hot dog, is a gate hot dog is a gateway drug to bratwursts. I can't say no to good Chicago style hot dogs though. I just can't. Like all beef, all beef Chicago hot dogs. You can't beat it. Okay, good. I found where to go. You eat very little meat. I do too. Not by choice though. <laughs> I eat very little meat out of necessity. Yo, look who it is. It's our old friend, Kios. Dude, thank you for the raid. Witcher 3, oh boy. You got the bug, huh? You got the bug. Busy, 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 but you hope I'm well. I hope your no job's going well, man. Thank you for that raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm Phenomenon Variety Streamer. This year, we are focusing primarily on retro RPGs and some indie. And we do D&D &D every Saturday. So if any of that sounds up your alley, hit that follow button so we can hang out. You almost PB'd in near Automata. Wow, it's how long has it been since you PB'd in that? You had D&D &D as well? Are you guys streaming your D&D? &D? I've never been able to catch any of them. That's awesome. I wanna, I wanna see one of your D&D &D sessions someday. <laughs> on top. Follow El Diablo. You just choked. I wouldn't worry about it, man. Your persistence with that stuff always wins out in the end. You always find a way. You always find a way. 
Survive in this environment, he became a snow monster. Oh no! And Kratos no longer has a human mind. Oh good! Yo, this ice witch is kind of kind of fine. I wonder if she's single. <laughs> you seen both the 8 bit theater and the original meme of it? Yeah, 8 bit theater did a wonderful rendition of that. That I think it was called like Dead Ale Wives Club or something. That's the one that were the I guess magic missile at the darkness. That's the guy that wants the Cheetos shouting from the kitchen. Can I have a Mountain Dew? Where are the Cheetos? <laughs> uh. Uh. Are there girls there? <laughs> They're right next to you, God. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was, Ervin. Cybermoon Studios, right. You haven't seen it? Wow. It's an old one, Laurelana. It's not TV. It's an internet meme from, like, early 2000s. It was not on TV. It's like an early 2000s internet meme. Understandable if you missed it. I think you were not really on the internet back then. <laughs> if you think Australian internet is bad now, imagine how bad it was like 15 plus years ago. They probably were all still stuck on dial up. Man, Australia, I think, is one of the few countries that has it worse than the United States when it comes to internet infrastructure. Go ahead if you want to fight the snow monster. All right, where is it? Right here? You had ADSL at home in 2001-ish. Oh, I do not miss DSL. God, it was terrible. Yeah, Gring, yeah. Yeah. Wait, it was included in an early PS2 game? Really? Are you serious? There you go. The old meme from the early 2000s. Eagle's like, I am the fighter of that tavern. <laughs> the drunk fighter drinking Mountain Dew was satanic. He was in the clutches of El Diablo. Uh, oh, music change. Field of Lost Guilt. I should have brought help. Oh, this is a big boy. Oh man, it's a Yeti. We found Bigfoot. Oh shit, that's gonna miss. Damn. When that hits, though, it does damage. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, he, put, he turned poor Boko into a snowman. I hope this hits. Fuck! Two misses!
I got him. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I love the sprite work in this game. It's really good. Sprite work is excellent. Snow Cabal. We did it. All right, feels good. We got some accomplishments. You freed him for me, thank you. Now, how do you feel? Dots, not so great. You still don't believe me, do you? Two pyramids. Yeah, Mysterious Dude got one. Can we stop talking about that? It's over now. Oh, you need to make eye contact when speaking. It's important, you know. Get Ish Platinum. Fuck, a crafting ingredient? Alright. Can't look back. The end. Well, we got two? Two quests finished tonight? Maybe three? So far? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Sun Top. <laughs> You're browsing old DOS games. Find any good ones? It's so warm. Pearl's just squatting in my house now for some reason. It's fine. Who likes snowmen? I like snowmen. I don't like being turned into one. Rogue? I don't know if Warlana would like Rogue. Let's take her with. We'll take uh, Lisa with. She's been really good. Actually, no, we'll take Bud with this time. We'll take Bud with. Uh, which one was that? Um, can't look back. Remember the part about a sorcerer named Mephiance, but I don't remember anything else because I sort of fell asleep. I hope my master didn't see me sleeping. Okay. <laughs> yeah, from what I hear, that's a really hard game. Uh, us on top. As an X-Men rogue? No. Literally just rogue. Like a rogue. Like the actual word, not a name. It's so warm. Kafka's laughing at me. The big meanie. Did you give me any fruits or produce that I want? I think he did this time. Didn't I need that rhino melon? I did. Fuck yeah. Finally got one. Because I have crabs. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Dang. Suddenly I have a fucking S STI. Rhinolope. That's for Boko. What's that? Orca plant. I don't know if I needed that. No. Oh, rhino lopes, all right. Crooked seed. Give a seed. Hades is one tough game. What is Hades like? I've heard good things about it. Let's do double crooked. Double crooked seed. <clears throat> Bastion meets Binding of Isaac. That sounds like a good combination. I liked Binding of Isaac, and I have barely played Bastion, but I've heard great things about it. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't want to make a golem or an instrument. I'm not really built for magic, so I don't use it. Wait, was there another exit here? Oh, it looks like there was. But there isn't. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go feed Boko. People think getting over it is hard. They never played Rogue. I personally never played Rogue, but I've heard horror stories, I will say, of how unforgivingly difficult it is. Feed box is empty. All right, Boko wants a rhino lope. He also wants stuff I don't have, like mangoes, dice berries, spring bananas, corn flowers, dye laurels, cherries. Man, just don't have any of this stuff. Feels bad. Feels bad. Is Boko, can he eat meat? Who can eat meat? Some demon meat. <laughs> Make my bird eat demon meat. <laughs> there you go. Have some demon meat. This is a this is a carnivorous chocobo. Nothing save the meat does anything in the encyclopedia though. We'll try it. Ba -na -na -na. Did I save? I think I forgot to save. Legit. We'll save in the next town. We can do that. We'll save in Domino. It's tasted flesh. He's a demon chocobo. That would be cool if you could like change his color that way. You know? Make it to like a green chocobo or a black or whatever. That'd be neat. I'd be down with that. Uh, I think I save in here. Yeah. Okay, good. I've heard the same thing about the game Dwarf Fortress. Of just how completely unforgiving it is. Alright, now we've saved. I need some of this water. I'm dying. Yeah, that's true. To give reference to you, Lorelana, and anyone else. The literal genre roguelike comes from the game Rogue. That's why they're called roguelikes, because they're like the game Rogue. The game itself created the genre. Yep. Came out, I think, in the late 80s, early 90s, and I think it's still developed to this day. It's, like, it's completely ASCII. Like, the entire game is done in ASCII characters. <clears throat> Oh, they call it dungeon crawlers? Because it doesn't necessarily have to have anything to do with dungeons. <clears throat> it's more about how the mechanically the games work, how they're procedurally generated. And nothing is retained on death. Um, okay. God, there's a lot of choices. Let's go to Geo, because we just helped that guy do a quest, that teacher. I would say Binding of Isaac is a rogue light. Because the more you progress in that game, the more options you get.
Like, there is basically a genre of dungeon crawlers, and they're not necessarily roguelikes, or even roguelites. <clears throat> oh, Bud can talk to all these people. <clears throat> cool. Your master works in Lumina. Lumina? Oh, I'm in Lumina. I need another one of these right now. <clears throat> My voice is getting froggy. Probably not drinking enough water. You have knowledge of games that came out there, but not elsewhere. Like what? Were any of them popular? I guess if they were popular, they probably would have gotten releases elsewhere. Now that I think about that. I like how all the students' names are based on spices. <laughs> Cumin, paprika, saffron. Why were you breathing? You'll die if you don't breathe, right? So you're breathing because you didn't want to die, right? I bet you were saying, oh, I don't want to die. I got to breathe. I wasn't saying that. How come you're a wife? <clears throat> I live because it's fun. So you're saying, well, life's so fun. I got to breathe. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that? Ah, uh, give me a break. Yeah, that was interesting. That was a lengthy, weird conversation. <laughs> Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings? That came out elsewhere. I'm pretty sure that at least got one stateside release. Only because I remember seeing ads for it as a kid. Dub Bears. Dub Dub. The point and click one? That one I'm not sure. I don't know which one it was. I just remember hearing about the whole, seeing ads for the Izzy Olympic rings thing. Estragon. Mace. Doing. I don't know which one it was, Lorelana, to be honest. But I do recognize the name. Turmeric. Hey, bud. Are you now the greatest sorcerer ever? Totally. Oregano. It's my one of my favorite spices to put on pizza. Oregano, garlic. Now I'm thinking about pizza. Fucking did it to myself. <laughs> Crap. Elizal, what are you doing here? Wanna go together? Uh, maybe later. Ask questions. Eh, I already asked all those questions. Ninety six Atlanta Olympics. That sounds about right. I really like the soundtrack in this game. I like almost everything about this game. Except its lack of conveyance. That's my biggest problem with it. Everything else is great. The art design is really good. The gameplay is fun. The characters are all interesting and fantastical. The music is really good. It's Grandpa Sage. Why, hello, Grandpa Bud. How are things? Wow, you sure have perfected your grandpa speak. That's right, Sonny. At school, I'm the king of the old timer speak. Whatever you say. When I was young, we didn't talk like that to our elders, Sonny. 
Oh man. How you doing, Dill? How do I look? He says. Okay. He likes school. Brownie. Brownie is a spice? Okay. Maybe they ran out of spices and they're like, just do a dessert. How you doing, Kyan? Not so good. Oh. Rosemary. Rosemary is dots. Okay. Hi. Hello. Green haired girl that never does anything. Green haired girl that does literally nothing. It was called Izzy's Adventure. I don't know, Lorelana. I'd have to look it up if it came out here. Can you help me with something? No, I just helped you with something. Damn, dude. I went through all this trouble to talk to him because I just helped out his whole storyline. Can I help you with something? Yeah. How about a reward? <laughs> that would be helpful. All right, well, since we now know where Elizul is, we're going to get him. I talked to everyone in the town. We have spoken to everyone. Yes, yeah, so let's go together. What about that one? Part with NPC. Bye, bud. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Elizabeth is pretty strong. He's a good teammate to have. Jumi. Nah. Nah. That's a lot of text that we've already read. I was going to see if it would do anything with Elizabeth, but... I'll pass. Okay. Speaking of green haired girl that does nothing, looks like we did it. Hey. How many times must I tell you dirt? But I. You're just dirt. Hmm. Huh. Okay. The fuck did I just witness? That girl. No, it couldn't be. You know, we didn't go to the palace. Doodle, 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 doodle. Hi, Christy. You own the place. Good job, Christy. We're all very proud of you. Is she significant? She didn't seem like it at first, but now I'm wondering. Hello. This is uh, Gilbert. He's petrified. No idea what to do about that. <laughs> Not a dang clue. We'll figure it out. Well, let's go talk to green haired girl again. Yo, welcome back, Nick. Hit him with a hammer, he says. That'll work. That'd do something. There an effect would occur. For sure. <laughs> Some kind of effect would occur. Cure petrification, percussive maintenance. I I can't wait. So something's wrong. We should come back later. No, I want to. I guess that's the game's way of saying yo, advance the day. Maybe. You used percussive maintenance on some old HPs last week? Listen, it's a joke. 
the whole progressive maintenance thing, but sometimes it fucking works. It just, especially on old electronics. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Machines too. Like it's, I don't know. It just does. Sometimes when the thing is not working right and you've lost all options, smacking the shit out of it, sometimes will fix the fucking thing. Ah, uh, stay the night. All right, let's go back to the school. Get an old TV that worked better with percussive maintenance. Me too. No, not, not lying. It was when I was a kid. It was really old um so the only way i could hook my super nintendo up to it was with an rf adapter that had these little like u-shaped prongs that you had to like screw to the back of the tv and those things always were like loose or just didn't have a very good connection so i would just have to smack the tv sometimes because the signal would lose all color or basically lose its chroma signal and if I smack the TV, it would like jostle the fucking wires or whatever, and it would give color again. The weirdest thing. You might still have one of those, Nick. Wow. That's kind of amazing. Ooh, Ooh excuse me. You had a computer where you had to give it a kick to make your screen stop waking out? Wow. Hello. Beep. She's a Jumi. Ah, Jumi. I am the Lapis Knight Elizul. I'm on a journey looking for other Jumi. Wow. Uh-oh. Zombie teacher. Something's wrong with that instructor. Her hobby is collecting girls' hair. She's after mine, too. What a weirdo. I've got class today. Let's meet at the library some other time. Maybe on Gnome or Undyne Day. Okay. Progress. Oh shit, is it doing it again? I guess so. Gnome or Undyne Day. Okay. There's a game called Bouncing Babies. That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> oh, funk. Undying the Undying. I can roll with that. We could stay all night. It costs nothing. Is it Undying or no? Let's try it. I don't want to try it. There was an old racing game I used to play with my cousin on DOS that I swear to God Mario Kart got its inspiration from. I think it was called Wacky Wheels. It was the first game I ever saw that had paid DLC. <laughs> like you couldn't get all the characters without like paying extra. It was fun though. <laughs> that was a cool game. It reminds me of this other racing game my cousin had that had by far the fucking worst control scheme I've ever seen. To accelerate in this racing game, you had to take the mouse and move it forward. So literally the entire race, you're going like this with the mouse, like pushing it forward and picking it up and putting it back and just doing this over and over. It was the worst fucking controls I've ever seen. <laughs> I hated that game. <laughs> the only reason I tried it is because it had pretty good graphics for the time. For a trackball, yeah, that actually would work really good for a trackball, but a regular mouse? Oh. Oh my god. 
let's just say that I think my cousin broke a couple mice from that game, and not intentionally. <laughs> uh, you played that at some point, Gretzky? <laughs> it was so bad, wasn't it? I don't remember what it was called, though. Ugh. It's one of the worst control schemes I've ever seen in a game. I think it is the actual worst control scheme I've personally ever seen in a game. I wish Shane's games was here because I was watching him stream one game. There was first person and it was really slow. And to, you know, it wasn't like WASD movement um, with mouse turning. It, it kind of was, but not really. Like you had to move the mouse left and right and your character would move forward, but at an angle, like slowly turning. Oh. So like most of his playthrough of that game was like running into walls and like slowly turning and sliding off the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so bad. I'm going to ask him about that. Oh man. You have one and use it time to time if you need a mouse for projector. For projector. I don't understand. What do you mean? I've never actually owned a trackball mouse. Oh, Alice. Quiet, Dad. This isn't war. You don't have to yell. Dirt. Useless Dirt. Doomy cores were once valued for their magic. The mages vied with one another for these cores, but they were all useless. Wireless trackballs you can control from the couch. Why couldn't you just control it with a wireless mouse instead? What's the difference? Oh, because I see you need a surface for the mouse. The trackball, you don't. That makes sense. I get it. I get it. I had to think about that for a sec. I'm like, wait a minute. Because I used to use a mouse on a couch all the time, but I thought about it. I'm like, no, but what I used to always do is put a book on the couch and put the mouse on the book. So, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that, that's actually a pretty good use for it. Wait, not in front of a guest. The ancient texts talk of their incredible powers, such as great magical forces and powers of healing. This is my sweet little apprentice, but she is just a worthless clod of dirt. Why you? He just beat up a stained glass window. Are you really a Jumi? Why don't you defend yourself? Because it's the truth. A fewer people will be after my core. Hmm. There's something I want to ask. In your travels, Elizul, did you see anyone that looks like me? No. How about you, Durian? I saw someone. Who lie? I could read people's minds. You can't lie to me. Just kidding. Looking for someone? Sorry, let me be alone for a while. All right. Beep. The Lucky Clover. <laughs> if there's anything I can do, just ask. Interesting. Lucky Clover. Adventure in Geo with Esmeralda. Yes, please. Leave you alone for a while. No. I don't want to leave you alone with this stupid stained glass douche window. It's mean. That what? Hmm. Not sure. Forgot you had named the main character. Yep. <laughs> uh, you big lovable goof. Yes, you did. You named it after yourself. <laughs> uh, I guess sleep another day?
Is it Gnome Day? It's Salamander. Oops, wrong way. We'll go talk to her again. She down here again? Mm, doesn't look like it. What sort of experiment is next? Good question. What the fuck? Okay, I need to read this. The most powerful magical attack is one in which you make the enemy laugh and then run away while he is laughing. Once you master this, you will be invincible. However, if the enemy does not laugh, it is over. At the very least, make a funny face. Oh. You look troubled. Beep. Yes, I have a favor to ask of this person. Of Durian. Come to the library, Elzul, on a gnome or undyed day. Okay. Again, we can do that. Let's find out what happens. Progress! We're making real progress! We're on Salamander Day right now, I believe. I don't know why he makes me say yes twice. Or a day. No. That's not what we want. It's not what we want. Undyne or no? That's what we want. Gnome day. All right, cool. Go to the library. I have a lot of quests open right now and I haven't really found anything to do with them yet. All right, Esmeralda. Thank you so much for coming. So what can we do for you? First, let me explain. I ran away from the Jumi city and was taken in by the academy. Why did the Jumi say he die out? Florina, the only one who could heal, was kidnapped. Healing Florina. It was too risky to stay together in the Jumi city because the power of healing was no more. In the chaos, I was torn from my sisters. So that Nunu magic guy, he's been interfering, eh? No, Mr. Nunazak has taken me in in exchange for his extraction of magic. I promised I would stay until a knight appeared. So I should be your knight, eh? No, Elizul, you already have a guardian, right? Mr. Nunazak says that's two timing. <laughs> two timing? Wow. But knights and guardians aren't lovers or anything. The most one can do is protect himself and one other. Stop showing off, Jumi boy. You underestimate me. Well, what now? Mr. Nunazak said maybe I should ask Doreen. Of course, I do like that funky red hood. Very nice. <laughs> well, what do you say, Durian? Accept knighthood. Thanks, Durian. Well, I'll head to the jewelry store. Call me if you need me. I hope we can find her sisters. Interesting. All right. We have a new friend. Where to? Don't worry, my sisters will soon be drawn to my core. We'll see them soon. Can I talk to her? No? Okay. That was different. I am Nunozak. Egotist extraordinaire. What does she do? Esmeralda. Synchro effect. HP recovery. Ooh. That's cool. We both have that. I wonder if it like doubles it. She has no abilities? Oh, fuck. She's like Pearl, isn't she? Shit. <laughs> That's not good. I don't think she's gonna do anything. 
Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Oh no. This is bad. Well. All right, my first order of business, I'm going to take her to my house. Maybe something will happen if she talks to Pearl. Actually, let's talk her to the, this gal, the Medusa. There's no school. Okay, that did nothing. Talk to the leader? The leader of the palace? I'm disappointed in these NPCs that do nothing. Hey, it worked! Hi, have you ever seen a jewel like this? Well, have you ever seen a jewel like it, Sotheby? I saw one in the warehouse below. Take a look at the warehouse. I'll give you the jewel if you need it. Thanks. Okay. I saw it in the warehouse below. <laughs> Why? The Jumi Corps will only bring you misfortune. What's this? What's Lady Diana doing here? Diana! What? I found something! Beep. Do not call me by that name. I am no longer a Jumi. Yo. We got a sub. From the dark. Question is, what is a monomenon? From the dark center. Question is, who cares? And the town very cuddles. We got a sub from Darka City, dude. How are ya? I'm gonna check something. Something looks a little off right now. How are you today, Dork City? It's good to see you, man. Do I need to do that adjust? Turn off studio mode. Hmm. I don't. Interesting. Oh, it's still stretching. Yeah, okay. That just makes it blurrier. All right. Whatever. Something looks off. Turn it on. <laughs> Pop, what? The Jumi are doomed. You should give up being a Jumi as well. Never, my sisters call me even without their cores. The others are the same. They're all waiting for tears of healing. The last Jumi with the power to heal, Florina, is dead. There's no way to bring us back. I won't give up. Take your sister's core and leave this place. The Jewel Hunter will come. How come? Because I told the thief to come and steal my core. I must decide this once and for all as the leader of the race. I hope this all comes to an end with my core. No, I can't let you do that. You still have hope, then live on as a Jumi. Your sister's core is right over here. Beep. I won't give up. The Jumi will cry again. I believe it. The Jumi will cry again. Did she just get fat loots? No, she didn't. I can't equip anything on her either. I got a Jumi core though, maybe. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. Dragon bone. This is not bad. If you want really high magic defense. We have acquired this horse statue, but we still have no takers. Maybe I should try a new sales pitch. Like, helps prevent collapsing wolves. Yeah, that is a clue. Collapsing roofs. That's something we heard a million times, isn't it? 
Well, I guess we're gonna go look for other Jumis. Jumis. Save the game. You know, there still seems like there's just a lot of content left in this game. Stay with me a little longer. Oh, okay. And... It makes me wonder how much I have left. She wants me to stay with her a little longer. I wonder what that means. It must mean I have to talk to someone else. Elazul, maybe? Talk to Elazul, maybe? Yeah, okay. Or not. Just run right by him. Don't run inside the store. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Do you have anything that looks like my core? Quest is not done, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, Lorelana. I'm still really hot. This sucks. I'm still roasting in here. Ugh. More water. I'm not looking forward to this summer, I'm telling you. <laughs> not at all. I need to check at how hot this GPU is running right now, which shouldn't be, but I can, uh, lower its temp when I'm not using it. Oof. Jesus. Too hot. Too fucking hot. Where are you, NVIDIA inspector? Show overclocking, multi-display power saver, enable. Yeah, okay. <sighs> What's considered too hot for me or my GPU? Wait, so your sisters are... <clears throat> Only the cores are left. They were taken by Deathbringer's army. Oh, so you're looking for the mementos of your sister. GPU it was like running almost 60 Celsius, which is fine. It's meant to do that, but... For whatever reason, it's always running at the highest clock frequency. So I have to turn on a setting to make it not do that when I'm not using it. Um, and it'll drop like 20 degrees Celsius. <laughs> like straight up. And make it a little more reasonably temperate in this corner of the apartment. Yo, Ryu. What's up? How you doing, man? How are you liking your new sound effect? It's already down to 50 Celsius, so it's dropped 7C in like 30 seconds. Oh, there might be some magic left in their cores. If I had some tears of healing, I could bring them back. The only one of us who can shed tears is Florina, and she isn't with us. Isn't your safety more important? Let me handle it and get back to class. What's that sword? If you're a knight, don't talk like a sissy. Wow. Wow. Okay. I got an itch on my back. It won't go away. Oh, yeah. There it was. Just got off work. Welcome on in. You're so different from Pearl. Um, excuse me. We don't deal in Jumi cars here. Well, how rare. A courteous shopkeeper. And here I thought jewelry stores were the same as morgues. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one. I didn't know. I didn't know Jumi were in the city. The next one. The next what? Is there a way to talk to your teammate? I guess not. <laughs> 
The next one. The fuck does that mean? Let's, let's see if she lets me leave the city now. Reg. Reg, is she gonna leave, let me leave the city? Reg. What do you think, Reg? No clue smile. Okay. Where's the next one? The next what? Are we going here? This is a very confusing What should we call it? The next one. Don't let anything happen to her. Right. Ask questions, Jim Jumi. Nope. Nope. Nothing in there. She wants me to go to the next one. Huh? Dark City said he needs sleep, and I just saw that now. Ten minutes later. Feels bad. Feels bad. Conducted experiment of Nunuzak wasn't here. Nunuzak, you're useless. I think there's one here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh oh let's wait until the principal is teaching class on dryad day okay sure so let's stay the night at an inn for like a week or whatever stay the night at the inn for like i don't know several days till it says dryad day and then we'll sneak in his room oh dang lorelana sound like this. Does that bother you? Jin day. Wrong day. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Hello. Welcome back. I talk like this. Try a day. Okay, it was two days. You want a whole series of 8-bit d and I know, me too. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty good. Jordan, why are you making a, a, a... What does a horse have to do with anything? Oh, lewd. Lewd. Wait, what was lewd? Did I say something lewd? <laughs> I think there's one here. Answer me. I never realized that it was a loot emote, and I feel really bad. Found it. She's stealing gems. Does this make me a thief? Yes. Yeah. It does. Not at all. You're a wonderful knight. I know I'm the best, aren't I? I always wanted to be able to say that. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now whose uh, who's house can we rob next? <laughs> uh, well, at least she's, uh, you know, aligned with the same MO as me, which is to loot everything ever. Now what? Talk to uh, Elzul again? I, I don't know. I don't. Huh.
Yeah, that's the 8-Bit Theater webcomic. It's really good, but it doesn't have anything to do with that D&D &D thing. I guess we're not done here. 8-Bit Theater ended many years ago. Uh, they, they still have the website, and they do different comics now. A fiance is teaching. I don't know what to do right now. It's pretty obscure. Maybe talk to the lady again. Here's Atomic Robo. That's it, Mr. Olea. I've never read Atomic Robo. I need to find new web comics to read. A lot of the ones I've been reading have stopped or are finished entirely. Like they've <laughs> they've told their story. Da -da -da. Does everyone in the chat have any favorite web comics they like and why? I want to learn about web comics you folks might read. Spit them out. Let's get some discussion on that. Have I read Girl Genius? I do not know what that is. I've never heard of it. Have I heard of Mega Tokyo? No. I haven't heard of that either. Magic is everything. <laughs> Unsounded, says Buddy Cthulhu. That's another one I haven't heard. We have a books and literature channel in Discord. If you guys have links, I would put them in there too. So I can look at them later. So others can look at them as well. Uh, let's go to the palace. Kill six billion demons? I haven't heard of that either. Here's the ones I'm reading right now. I'll tell you the ones I'm reading. So I'm not just intaking information from you. I'm also sharing. I read, uh, Goblins comic. Um, uh, Looking for Group is another one. Um, Order of the Stick, which is my favorite webcomic of all time. Elf Quest. I've heard of that. i never read it. Uh, let's see what else do I read. XKCD is a good one. Uh, Exiern, E-X-I-E-R-N is good. Ogloff, which is extremely not safe for work. Don't link it in chat. <laughs> that one, it's hilarious though. Uh, and questionable content, I think, is another one I read. Mustn't become a stone, I won't give up. Okay, fuck. That was my only lead. Helps prevent corrupting wolves. Yo, you seen a Jumi stone? No? How about you? No? Nobody's more powerful than me. I will go off the comic where a man realized he couldn't write porn, but he could write comedy. And boy, is it funny. <laughs> Ogloff is fucking one of the funniest comics I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's so good. You got bored with looking for a group? Some of them are just... Like, I will, I feel like looking for a group is finally getting somewhere within, like, the last month. But it drags. One I used to read was called Earthworld, which was pretty good, but... I don't know. Some shit went down with the creator's family and... He just closed the whole thing down. It was weird. I guess we stay the night again. <sighs> Earthworld started back up, really? It looked like last month. Maybe I deleted the link. I think I deleted the link. Yeah, I did. I actually did. No, it's still closed. Same web page. Since October. Yeah, it's still closed since October. You don't really read web comics? That's all right. There's no school. 
What is that one about, Durian? Use that p post your links, everyone, in that literature channel and Discord too, so we can look at them later after stream. Adorable black metal comics by J.P. Ahon and his fast, fantastic comedy death metal comic. Well, that sounds kind of cool. There's other ones I used to read, but stopped because they basically like stopped updating. Yeah, I've never seen that one, Durian. Unordinary, huh? There's another one I really like, uh, Table Titans. Table Titans is really good. Ta if, especially if you like D&D, Table Titans is awesome. And when you pay much attention to John, just a normal teenager at high school or the social elite, happened to possess unthinkable powers and abilities, but John's got a secret past that threatens to bring down the school's whole social order and much more. Sounds like a Persona game. Legitimately sounds like a Persona game. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think Persona games are cool as fuck. Okay. I am very confused. It's been going on for 19 years. Wow. Wow. That's, that's extremely impressive. Never played a Persona game. I have played a bit of Persona 4 and watched some Persona 5. They're just very cool. It's the best way to put it. They're just cool. I don't know. Uh, all right. I'm really confused, folks. Can anybody drop me a small hint as to what I should be doing right now? I feel like I'm missing something important. Elf Quest is approximately 42 years old. Was it an old? So it was. So it's a web comic now, but it used to be a real comic then. There's a jewel collector. Okay. It's a real comic. They made it digital. All right. Here's the jewel collector again. Same as before. It's a jewel seller and a collector. <laughs> it's absolutely the same. You sure hope we can find them. So apparently Elf Quest is just a comic that's been digitized. Counts, counts in my book. If the whole collection is on the internet, free to read. I don't mean by like piracy or anything, but like legitimately like, yo, you can read this shit. Counts in my book. Jewel collector. Okay. I haven't seen any jewel collectors in this town. I don't think I've ever seen a jewel collector here. Yeah, Earthworld was impressive. I really enjoyed it while it was running. Um, but yeah, I guess the dude had some family crisis, which sucks, whatever it was. Do I want to be more specific? Yes. Don't just give it away, but give me a hint that's gonna do something for me. Living teapots. Huh? <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever seen that before. There's some more definitely I haven't been then. I wonder if there's like an entire section of this town I've never seen. All right, let's look for like hidden areas. Tipo and Domino. Oh, okay. 
Teepo is... That's a teapot? I thought it was like a really fat rabbit. Or walrus or something. That's a teapot? I thought it was like a really fat walrus. Buy item, sell item. Okay, he sells gold. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is not a, there's no way that's a fucking teapot. That's amazing. I thought it was just a jumping walrus thing. <laughs> or like a manatee. <laughs> All right, well, that thing doesn't seem to give two shits about me, but there's a couple more. Sorry, Carl. Say, do you have anything like this? Ha! Huh? Huh? Who the? Wait, they talk like this. Who the heck are you? Do you have any? Oh, let's not do that again. No, no, of course not. I thought you might. Just a hunch, I guess. He's selling the minerals you find around here. Judd hemp. Judd hemp. Dun, 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 dun. That's the official art of them. They still look like walruses to me, but they also look like teapots. No wonder they bounce around like that. I'm gonna stay all night. You love Elf Quest? As much as Never Ending Story in Final Fantasy VI. It's legally on the site, but it's not all the comics, just up to the discovery. Uh, God, it's been going 42 years. There's the shed, the principal's office, and one more place where cores respond. I bet it's in the coffee shop. Let's go see. Coffee shop. Who's got the coffee? Is this a coffee shop? I don't know. Beep. I knew it was here. Blimey, what's that you're doing? You'll play well stop that. Beep. It's here. Oi, that's me, Emerald. This is my sister, and I want her back. What's up, Jim Bersworth saying? You must be out of your bloody head. Why, for sh you sure say a mean things for a dove. Okay. Come on, you're my knight. Fight for me. I'll fight. You mustn't strike a lady's truth. That's a lady? Whoops. Well, this lady talks like that anyway. Use your own organ for once. If you've got something to say, I'm listening. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a long story, will you hear me out? Of course. I'll just sit here and listen, and then I'll throw them out. <laughs> Fine, I'll begin. I'm definitely not interested in reading Garfield. I was looking for web comics mostly. Especially like, I'm just in a fantasy mood, you know? So, you know, some stuff. Oh, Durian, you posted yours. Thanks. I see your post in, um, in, um, in Discord, in the literature channel. Boy, well, being killed for your cause, that's terrible. They're not exactly dead. Ages ago, the Jumi healed their wounds with tears. So I think I could revive them if I only had some tears of healing. You're building a list? Nice. If you need tears, then take mine. Take all you want. They're just tea water, but they're good and pure. You could take them. Regular tears won't do. It has to be Jumi tears. Can't you cry then? Nope. Jumi tears are shards of life. That's why tears can heal a Jumi. You met the creators? Dude, wicked. I'm building up a list, Mr. Roll. Thanks. Here is my favorite. If you like D&D, &D, there are currently 1,193 <laughs> strips of this one. And it is good. It is really good. It's really good D&D &D satire, but also an extremely compelling story. And it's done so well that he's actually gotten to do like 
side stories as books. Uh, visual novels, I would say not books, but visual novels. So they are books, like you buy them, but yeah, good stuff. Ages ago, the Jumi put life into their tears and shared them freely, but one day we couldn't cry anymore. My teacher said that it might be a survival instinct. I don't really understand, but you really need a uh, go on, take it. Thank you. Uh oh, me water. <laughs> uh, whoa. Looks like the lucky clover is whole again. Wow, cool art. Oh, come on. That was a good scene. <laughs> no, don't pick it up. You Don't be stupid. Oh. All right, Laura Lana. Thanks for the lurk. Sorry. Not really. I like the music. Do you guys like the music? says the lucky clover would be mine it makes me wonder like just thinking about that i'm trying to think and maybe you guys can come up with some ideas have you ever played a game that had a really good soundtrack but the game sucked otherwise i can't think of any instances offhand really good soundtrack but otherwise the game really didn't pan out what kind of games i'm trying to think I think it's an interesting topic. Hmm. It says the lucky clover will be mine. What are we going to do? Stay next to me. Thank you, Durian, but I should go back to the academy. Tell Elzul to be careful, and you be careful too. No, don't run off, you're stupid! Oh, Feels bad. Feels bad. Where's Esmeralda? A note came. What? We should go find Esmeralda now! Okay. Final Fantasy VIII? Oh, come on, I like that game. <laughs> I like that game. I think it's a good game. Welcome back, Reg. I thought that said steak free windows for for a second there, for a hot second. And I was really wondering what the hell was happening in Canada. Whew. Where are it? Esmeralda's gone. She's been kidnapped by the jewel hunter. Fuck. Of course. You have to find her, Darian. Well, where the fuck is she? Steak full windows, you would keep it? I know, man. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. The story sucks a bit. You know, I haven't played in so long. It'd be hard for me to give an informed opinion on that. I know I didn't like the story as much as a lot of other Final Fantasies. Am I just gonna leave? No. Oh, shit. All right. Fuck. Not as bad as 13 Lightning Returns. When you go to RPG Limit Break, we're gonna get stakes. Sure. It's, I... As long as I can afford it. <laughs> oh, the kid went to the warehouse. Hey, something happened. Something have happened. No, that's terrible. Esmeralda. Uh. What? A diamond, Jumi. I am the one who was once called Diana in the Jumi City. Young Jumi Knight, can you save her? Of course. Then I leave it to you. Oh. Oh boy, we get VoIP somewhere. 
<laughs> it's a date, where it reg. Date, dude. Oh, Jesus, what did I stumble into? Let's go, Elzul. Don't you fucking dodge it. Yes. Ultra combo. Yow. Oh, that almost killed me. Okay. Okay. Wow. This thing hits like a truck. Holy shit. Wow. Elizal just fucked him up. Good job, Elizal. Yeah, that, that ability is freaking sweet. Over there. Over there. I still can't think of a game that has a great soundtrack, but otherwise falls flat and every, you know, anybody think of any games like that? <sighs> That's fine, Viserl. You can always edit the message. I can't shed tears. Not even for myself. Not even for my sisters. Looks like you're too late. Now don't take hers, Toe. Fuck. Well. Damn it. Guess we didn't save her. Great soundtrack, but bad game, Sweebs. How are you, Sweebs? What's up? Yes, that's the question. Reg says R Mystic Quest Kappa. Mystic Quest, they say, is a good game. I like it. But I can see people not liking it. But the soundtrack is absolutely banging in the game. Granja Extreme. What's that? I have Granja 1 and 2 on my list, I think. And 3. Granja 1, 2, and 3. And I own Granja now. Woo! I really, I really want to get some more of these games on this list. I really do. I really, really do. This is like one of my investment goals this year fill out a bunch of this list. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, Vern? Let's do this. Sort by... Sort range by column. Grand Extreme is known for being a something game. It's it's BGG sick. Music is good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew it would happen. I believe the Jewel Hunter wants to have revenge on all the Jumi. Revenge? Bring your guardian here with you. I shall tell you then. I give you this as proof of my promise. Yeesh Platinum, again. Allow me to return you to your guardian. Whoa, free teleport. Def Jam fighting games. What is that? What's a Def Jam fighting game? Hunter Ra Roar, Hunter Roar X. Hunter, Hun we're just gonna call you Hunter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mean anything, I'm just like, my, my tongue's like stumbling trying to say that whole thing. Would choose death over Granja Extreme. <laughs> uh, according to online reviews of Ephemeral Fantasia, people think the music's good. Guys, do you remember that one review from Ephemeral Fantasia, which is the most cringiest review of all time? <sighs> do you remember that one? BGG was the one that... Uh, that showed me this. Oh, we have to read it. We have to read it. Metacritic, ephemeral, fantasia. We're going to read it just for you. Just for you. Because you need this in your life. Oh, this is the worst. This is the fucking worst. Andrew. All right. This is from Andrew A. <laughs> uh, here you go. I love this game. It may be a bit complex, but when you begin to understand, it'll fit like a glove. Kind of like Rummy in her uniform. <laughs> anyway, the only thing I hate about the game is the fact that no one has a clue how to get Mouse and Rummy together in the ending. Hint, BGG stumbled on that ending. <laughs> but I won't give up. I'll keep on searching. 
But in the meantime, I'll just write down a few fanfics based on this game with me as the hero. Why? Because I can. Because I love Rummy. Not just because of her figure. I'm beyond that. Her smile while she blushes is so cute. And her emerald eyes would make some of the guys wonder what it would be like to marry her. I know I do. <laughs> oh, that's a review of Ephemeral Fantasia brought to you by Andrew A. <laughs> It was 17 years ago and Zordon's like, that guy's still virgin. <laughs> Nick's like, well, I was eating. <laughs> so much for that idea. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Literally the worst review I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh god you just can't top that there's there's no i don't think there's any way to get more cringier than that in an in a game review <laughs> you play that game for 15 minutes i think the only way i would ever play that game is if i made it some ridiculous like incentive It'd have to be a lot because that game is the worst game ever. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the fucking worst. I must tell her about Esmeralda and Diana. This house is so nice. Elzul, over here. Not just yet. She looks so happy. She looks like she's drugged. Or maybe she's napping. People will find a way to hit it. The lucky clover. Another dead Jumi. Feels bad. You don't want to make that an incentive? People will find a way to hit it? Yeah. People will put out of their 401k to make it happen. Oh. That's impressive if that's true. Man, now you're making me think about it. But I'm like, do I really want to do that? Mm, probably not. <laughs> If it pays for the RPG limit break trip, maybe. 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 But it would have to pay for the whole trip. <laughs> the entire thing. Oh, Pearl's gone. What the f- Where'd she go? Maybe. Alright, hold on. Diary. Let's check it out. Make sure we got no failures in there. Looks good. Okay. Talk to Cactus Buddy. <laughs> Little Dirt Clod. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nick. Years from now, inventor Andrew A. completes perfected VR with the first game, Ephemeral Fantasia. Sadly, he never logged out of the game and remains in it ever since. <laughs> Damn. Uh, can't look back. No. A lucky Clover. Another friend in my master's life. She was a pile of dirt. Did I get it right? I didn't know what to say to that. So I couldn't look straight into my master's eyes. Sorry. Okay. I know a lot of people consider Ephemeral Fantasia like the, one of the worst RPGs ever made. <laughs> Did Pearl come? Not yet. So then this note. Damn it, the Jewel Hunters kidnapped her. <sighs> Let's find her. I'm grateful, but we have no clues. Let's check outside. Cosmo, what the fuck? What was that? It was like a... I've never seen anything like that before. It's a quest, but it had like a different symbol on it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Sword on. Uh. 
I've heard the speedrun of Dragon Quarter is good, yeah. And that's the fun thing about speedruns is sometimes terrible games, like trash, utter trash games, actually make really fun and interesting speedruns. I just thought that was kind of cool. It gives new life to a game that was otherwise a failure. It had, yeah, it looked like the dragon tier from Breath of Fire 2. That's a good, that's a good, uh, analogy. Look at this. Four apricots? Alright, that was a bad idea what I just planted. <laughs> Look at four apricots. Ephemeral Fantasia is not one of those speedrun fun games. Oh my god. Reg, you said you're not going to RPG Limit Break this year, right? Because you can't get uh, time off. Apricot! <laughs> Alright, plant some seeds. Long, long seed! Na, 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 na. Big seed, small seed. Let's do that. Let's mix it up. Oh, God, Ryu. <laughs> uh, how did you feel about Dragon Quarter, Ryu? Now, here's the thing. Just because I think a game is terrible doesn't mean that it's wrong for someone else to like it. So, I don't judge people if they like games that I think are bad. Because I like Seventh Saga, and that game is bad. <laughs> that game is bad. You know, vacation time built up? Oh, yeah. I got you. You bought Ephemeral Fantasia twice. Wow. You traded it at one point, and you're like, maybe I'll play it through, which you haven't. I see. <laughs> All right, let's go to the fortune teller. It was like 15 years ago. What the fuck is this? What's going on? <laughs> I, I, me too, Sweeps. I did. It's a poorly made game. Seven Saga has good music, cool characters. Miserable, miserable, miserable balance. What just happened? I'm so confused. What the fuck was that? It just booted me back in here. This is Zordon. You weren't a fan the first time you played Ryu. After you played through a few times, it had a better D level. It was okay. Not your favorite, but still better than Call of Duty. I think I could agree with that. <laughs> what was that? Like, it looked like it put something at the caverns and then it booted me back into my my uh my home let's go here let's just you know what maybe it was telling me to go here and check something out so that's what i'm gonna do Ask you anything. I'm I'm good. Why is there a duck here? We're looking for a friend. Have you seen her? Speak the truth or else. Don't threaten me! You're talking about an innocent looking little girl, right? She was with some lady. A lady with orange flowers. I think that duck is smoking some top, yeah. So it's wearing a great skirt and her legs were just fantastic. So which way did they go? They took the path on the upper right. Burl. 
Beep. We must hurry. Thank you for doing that, Mr. O. I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's interesting that it makes you go to an old zone, but now it doesn't ever scale the, the zone up. Sergeant Quackers has seen stuff. He's coping. <laughs> Smoking keeps him stable. I saw two girls pass by just a second ago. Barrel. They went straight this way. Let's go. This way. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the help. What's Reg got here? You weren't kidding. <laughs> ephemeral, fa ephemeral Fantasia's plot line brought to you by Regison. Yo, what's up, Sam? <laughs> God damn it, Rig. We are here now. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's absurd. You wish you were kidding? That's the best way to diagram it. Oh, God. <laughs> My car getting cloudy. Pearl, where could she be? I think I forgot my allergy meds last night. We're so the stone here. Tiny stone giving us beautiful light. It's like the stars in the dark sky. What did you seek? Who are you? I am not one of renown. I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen a girl wearing a white dress? Yes, I saw her. She went to the cavern with Sandra. Which way did she go? I took Pearl straight through this middle path. Wait. No, it's nothing. It's a trap. It's a tarp. Is there anyone in this world who hates what is beautiful? Men compete. Sometimes they kill each other just to get it. The greater the beauty, the more it is fine for, no more it is hurt. Such tragedy. Uh, 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 okay. BGG is unbreakable. Ask him out the Jimmy. There's a legend that whoever sheds tears for a Jumi shall turn to stone. It's just a forbidden contract between the Jumi and others. I think I know why. Oh. A friend of mine longs for jewels that sparkle. Oh, okay. I have a bad feeling about this. My car has never been... Words, it skipped. That was old man Murloc. So clouded before. <gasps> Music change. Pearl. Well, have you remembered your true purpose? How many times are you going to ask me?
I have no idea what you're talking about. Why, you? Get away from Pearl. Elzu. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Hand Pearl over now. Do I look like a woman who would listen to you? I'll make you listen with this sword. Ah, too late. What the hell? Uh, exclamation points! And it's all... Pearl, your dear Elizo's core is scratched. Pearl. What now, my pretty? Will you not save your knight with tears of compassion? Don't listen to her. Elizur. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Look, it's old Murloc man. Sandra, stop that. The king? It's pointless to hurt each other. I cannot stand this girl. And all that Jumi. Why do you not cry? Answer me, Pearl. No matter how sad, I cannot shed tears. We can't cry. You are incapable of healing. You are just a princess. That's right. We Jumi lost our tears many ages ago. The Jumi did lose something, but tears it was not. Listen to what your core tells you. Dots! Still you fail to understand. Even you, heiress to the memories of antiquity. Jaded stones which lost their clarity. Elizul the Knight and Pearl the Guardian. Both your cores are now mine. Oh boy. I don't need the power to heal. Just give me the power to fight. Bleep! Flowers! Black Pearl. Pearl. Do you really wish to battle with me, Sandra? No, I would never do such a- What the f- What? <laughs> okay. She went Super Saiyan! Lady Black Pearl. Holy fuck, her attack power is 51. Attack gauge reaches max. Uh, yikes. She is decked out. Wow. Evade? I never got this. How do you get evade? Huh. Yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty good music. This is like Mega Man X music. Oh, uh, no, it's gonna miss. Fuck. Wait, I could just spam it? <laughs> All right. Eventually it'll hit. Eventually. It keeps dodging. Oh, it ran into it. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. Oh, man. She is seriously OP. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. She is seriously OP. Just stand next to her and spam abilities. Bip, 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 bip. Mm. Is that so, Millionaire Will? Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I cannot believe she would just throw away someone like, like, who is like a sister to her. Is Florina alive? Didn't she always say, always find the answer yourself? I remember. I'll be going now. We'll meet again, Jumi Knight. Burl. Pearl is gone. You are now free, Lapis Knight. I'm sorry for the pain I caused you. Wow. Wait, come back! Stay at my party forever! That shit was OP. Rip. That was cool, though. 
We must not let this beautiful stone die. Uh, uh oh, what do I do? I'm in my house. Why are you bad? I'm in your house. Uh. I'll go get some medicine. That won't help. How come? This guy's just drew me. Medicine doesn't work on them. But... He just keeps saying Pearl. That's it. He just says Pearl. Cosmo, the end. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well timed. Well timed. <laughs> I just keep hearing the, the music in my head from Super Mario World when you beat the stage. <laughs> Oh, man. Talk to a cactus. Scary pearly lady. She was scary. Read the diary. And then... Cosmo. Pearl disappeared again, so Elizal went and looked for her again. Sandra and Lord Jules and lots of people were in today's story. It made me sleepy. Yo, I, I don't mean to, to pry Elizal, but I need to fucking save the game. Can you move? Sleep on the damn floor. This is my house. <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> I guess I gotta go save somewhere else. Uh. Oh, they're not done. Okay, we'll be back. I know you're dying and all, but you kindly get the fuck off of my <laughs> God, so inconvenient. How dare he inconvenience me with dying? That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> So someone told me that I was missing some of the very first starter quests in this game. Is that true? Is that a true story? Dun, 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 dun. We are... Oh, I don't have the timer up. Fuck, I forgot to start it. That's why. How long have we been playing? We started playing at like... 8.30, right? So... Four hours... In about 50 minutes. 54 minutes. So. Do 37. And then. To, 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 46. There we go. Okay. And then I gotta do this. Uh, where is it? Why don't I have a timer around here? It's usually here. I like you guys to see that. There you go. To see how long I've been playing. I've missed some starter quests. How did I miss starter quests? How do you do that? <laughs> the fuck did I miss starter quests? It's easy. I guess so. You want to point me in the right direction? Little hints? Little hintsy winsies? Somebody give me a little hintsy wincy. I want to get some more content out of this game. I'm okay with a hintsy wincy. Explore the highway. Okay. Uh. Oh, excuse me. I don't have any teammates now, though. Elizabeth's dying and Pearl ran off somewhere. I need a teammate. Maybe we get the siren. I could just bring Bud. I could bring Bud. Bud's a Bud. Bud's a bud. Yo, Vigilante, what's up? How's the weather in Norway today? It is unseasonably warm here today. It was like almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit here today. 
Maybe she's in here. That'd be sweet. Oh, and Chaos Kitty's here too. It's Miss Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. That reminds me. You guys notice how I use first names of people sometimes? You are always welcome to share yours if you'd like. But no pressure. But I will make a note on your username so that I remember it. Do the thing I haven't done yet. Oh. You got it, Reg. You got it. You, why are you petrified? Kevin. Millionaire Will is Kevin. You got it. You got a millionaire Will. Millionaire Will is Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. You guys didn't know my name's Ken. I don't use it very often on the internet, though. I may call you El Jefe. Sweepsley wants to be called the boss. I see. You got snow, Vigilante? It's been snow free almost all winter. March came along with snow. <laughs> Cyril's real name is Princess Angelina Contessa Luisa Francesca Banana Fana Bobesca the Third. Awesome. I like that name. I don't think it'll fit though. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. Uh... Six Celsius there in Germany. Da -da 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 Hello. Okay, you. You, give me a fortune. Don't tell me about horses again, please. Currently, right now, it is 50... No, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Reg's like, somehow, I don't believe you. Says, damn it! The horse statue fortune again. Pipolota Victualia Cruzminta Rugardina Ephraim's daughter Longstrump. That's Pippi Longstocking's full name. <laughs> but I can dream. <laughs> uh, I tried to pronounce it as best I can, but that is in a tongue that is not native to my own. I know, Skapak. It's been like probably 120 lucre for the same fortune. <laughs> Uh, Pippi Langstrumpf in German. Nice. We need a teammate. We need a companion. I don't know where Pearl is. So I'm just going to go grab... Um, what do you guys say? Lisa or Bud? Should I get Lisa or Bud? Dun, 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 to take on the highway. You made me recite the Swedish one, the OG. Right. Yeah, she was OG. Dun, 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 dun. Did I forget to save? I think I did. I'm going to go do that. Wait, let me check. Solomim. Hi, Solomim. I'm in the wrong room. Dun, 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 dun. You, I need to save. Where's my last save? It was at home. So we're going to save right here. So I didn't save. Solo is memeing it up. Solo, it's been really fun to have you on our D&D campaign. I hope you're enjoying yourself with it. I uh, expect a lot from my players, and Solo is delivering. So, it's working out. Mm. All right. Lisa it is. Let's go with Lisa. Who's Danny? Who's Danny, Viserl? Have I met a Danny in this game? Da -da 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 -da. Tony, oh, I don't know. Oh, I do have a command for that. I thought I didn't. 
<laughs> I forgot that was a base command. People rarely use it. Yo, Darian, thanks for hanging out tonight, man. We'll make sure your namesake keeps making progress, all right? You hereby offer your services as a character assassin if one of your PCs becomes a pain in the ass. I appreciate your offer, but I will know how to handle it. <laughs> but thank you. That's very generous. <laughs> uh. Maybe I'll get your jokes. Sweet Danny and Lisa. I, I really don't. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. All right. So you want me to explore this place? Let's do it. You think it would be funny? It's really not hard to get rid of a uh, a problem player, like a really disruptive one. You just kind of throw the rule book at them until they die and tell them they're not welcome to play anymore. <laughs> uh. But that's a last resort. Usually you first have to talk to the person and be like, yo, here's some problem behaviors we're noticing. We would like you to work on changing them. And I always try to phrase it that way. And here's why. Because you're not accusing the person. You're saying, hey, we're seeing this is what's happening. If you could change these, it would be great. There's no accusation that way. Because they don't really like to be accusatory. It's like sometimes people just don't, you know, get it. And then when you tell them that, they figure it out. Um, not always, but sometimes. System of a down. If it's like lyrics, I probably don't know the lyrics, to be honest. You designed Greg as a way to kill murder hobo PCs. Who's Greg? Who's Greg solo? Oh, you know, I don't think I know that song, Viseral. Surprisingly. All right. Pearl had an ability called Evade. I don't have that. Hmm. I bet there's a lot of abilities I don't have. Greg is a 5th edition bounty hunter that's about character level 11. Wow. Crazy. Uh, yeah, put it in Discord. I'll probably listen to it after, Viseral, because it's not likely I'm going to take another break tonight, to be honest. Neo says, I remember one guy at a local game store sessions. We threw the brew books at him. DMs outright put their foot down on multiple occasions. He kept coming back until the store owner banned him from the store for other reasons. <laughs> You got to do that. A lot of times game stores are like small communities. And if somebody is negative to the community, you got to be like, yo, this needs to change or we're going to have to ask you not to come back. <laughs> Grumpy Bulbasaur is here. What's up, Belvin? How are you today, dude? You grumping it up? Are you grumping it up today, Belvin? You know, it's bad when the store owner bans you, right? They're literally saying, I'm better off without your money <laughs> in presence. Link to the music channel. Thank you. Well, I'm looking forward to playing more of this tomorrow too, but we ain't done tonight. We ain't done tonight. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any uh, chat. Oh, this is Gaius. Well, let's see what Gaius has to say today. Maybe you got to go in the caves. It's good to see you, Yorm. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> what can I do for you? My feet keep falling asleep on me. 
How can I fix it? It bothers me. Oh, we already had this conversation, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Are I fighting the rock? No, I don't think you can. That is not rock, rock, rock biter. Where is this side quest? I'm in, um, one of the first areas, some kind of something highway. I don't know what it's called. Something highway. Highway, there you go. Luan Highway. All right, let's go this way. Jumping hoods. Wait, drop elder bows almost every time. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that guy does look like he could swallow me whole, doesn't it? All right, caves. Caves of Chobin Hoods. Uh, let's go this way. Just don't talk to boinks if we see them. Boinks are bad. Bad! That scared me for some reason. What? There's nothing here. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. Different path. for these weak enemies. Oh. Well, Lisa wanted to handle it, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. Thanks. She she kill stealed. Send her back to the house. Dun 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 A monster egg! Oh boy. I really don't want this. There. Have an apricot. I only have ten million of them. Why are you running towards me? Go that way. It's right here. Doesn't want an apricot, does it? Here, have a pine o'clock. Go eat it. I mean, it doesn't like fruits. Why not like fruits? This is why I don't usually bother with these things. Look at that. It's just ignoring it. All right, let's give it meat. Let's give it fish meat. I have 18. I have 18 fish meat. Didn't work. But it liked it. Have some more fish meat. Do it. Please remove my failure. Mods, we have a failed pyramid. <laughs> uh. Yo, eat your frickin' fish meat! Oh. 
There, get it! Damn it! <laughs> These things are so frustrating. Damn it! More fish meat! I'm just... This is a battle of wits and stubbornness now. <laughs> Go eat your damn fish meat. Give it Mandrake. Wow. That's harsh. This music sounds like Kingdom Hearts, but I also think this is the same composer that did Kingdom Hearts. Reminds me of the music of Mary Moore and Super RPG. I think the same composer did Super Mario RPG as well. Come on! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> How is this supposed to work? Uh. I really don't understand this at all. You stay away! I know, sir. I've tried that too in the past. It never works. I won't eat it. Eat your food! There's no way of knowing if it's eating the damn thing. <laughs> oh. Won't touch it. Alright, I don't think it likes fish anymore. Bird meat. Have some bird meat. Damn. Well, it ate it. Where did it go? Oh man, these things are derpy as all hell, I gotta tell ya. things are really obnoxious. Eat your food! <laughs> it just walks right by it. Why would he eat it? You suck. Whatever you are, you suck. Let's try morph meat. All right, eat your morph meat now. Come on, you can do it. You can. Oh. oh. Damn. Is it supposed to be this ridiculous? 
I didn't like apricots. He only sometimes likes the things I put down. Here, have a lily pod. Let's try that. Go over there. I can't see it. It's not gonna work. Go right there. There. Now I can see it. Just so to feed it till it goes to sleep. How do you get it to eat, though, is the problem. It's just ignoring the food. That's usually what I have a lot of issues with. Ba -ba -da. Look at my chocobo. Even he's unhappy with this. <laughs> Where'd it go? What the fuck is it doing? It vanished! <laughs> Oh my god. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and that is the last time I ever try to catch one of those. Well, that's the entire cave as far as I know. I don't think there's anything else to see in this zone. Put more than one item down. I see. It's probably an elder bow. Usually is. Oh look, an elder bow. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sweeps. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's all right. Uh. Bug meat and shell. Yay. Dead, 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 dead. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Go this way. Last time I went this way, there was a monster egg. How exciting. Thanks for hanging out, man. Even sleep, even if Tom Barry's coming to give you stampy cuddles. <laughs> Do they have Olkin mines? No. Nope. It's the dryad. Maybe we can get some coins. Play music. Sure. Um, serene. Let's play a serene tone with our gator skin harp. <laughs> it dutes. Uh, dutes. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes. Dutes. 
and um, the skin flute. <laughs> uh, okay. And the drum can be the harmony, and the, 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 uh, the hot crocs can be harmony, I guess. I don't know what this is. It is interested. Change stop music. It likes the tunes. Oh, now it's leaving. Now it's coming back. Now it's leaving. It seems to be uncertain. It left some coins. Giant silver. Times two. Three. Okay. And that's this entire zone. There's nothing here. Big seed. Jump it hood. Let's overkill. That's the noise it makes. It makes very offensive farting sounds when you kill multiple enemies at the same time. It's just like. <laughs> So that's right. I'm a sound designer. You're welcome. They're all going to get whacked anyway. They are going to get whacked. That's right. I remember that from Secret of Mano. When you got like critical hit, it would say like, you know, monster gets whacked. I always thought that was funny. A funny way to describe a critical hit. I kind of missed that. It was a silly charm to it. Danger buddies. They got big buck teeth too. And they like to chomp. The quest elsewhere you missed, you need to do first. What a shock. Thought that was for instant death? No, I think it was just critical hits. Ugh. Well, I was fruitless. Um, all right, let's go here for some reason. Quest is in Mindus Ruins. I haven't been there. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Guess we'll be going there soon. Usually I ended up in insta-killing anyway. Yeah. It wasn't insta-kills. It was crits. Because tough enemies you could, like, spam crits on and they wouldn't die. Dub! Dub! Silly dub bears. Psychokinetic flower like How stupid. Oh my god. You're so stupid. It's not that stupid. Niccolo. It's not, right? You're literally a walking, talking rabbit merchant. Crazier things have happened. Hello, I'm Monique, don't have a Nicolo. I was going to see if Nicolo had anything new to say. He did not. Plus, it's always nice to hear this cool music. Oh, wait, I want to talk to the gingerbread man. Do you have anything new to say? The other guy said he did something. Can I share an interesting story with you? Yes. Here at Lumina, we also make elixirs to quench the traveler's thirst. Let me tell you the story behind this tavern's name. The amount of mixture inside the barrel decreases over time. We believe the spirits can't wait, so they take little tastes. Do you know why we let them do that? Not at all. 
Only those with a barrel in their soul understand this. It's hard to explain exactly what that means. Uh, I'm going to lie this time. Do you know why we let him do it? Yep. You must have a barrel in your soul too. You get a barrel in your soul. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Oh my God. That's too good. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the Mendes ruins. Dun 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 Oh, it tastes good. Tea time of danger. What is cool music? Virgin Sigh. What is that? That's new. I don't think we've seen that before. No, we haven't. It's some kind of vial. A whiskey barrel? Kimble wanted to go off and pick some tea leaves, but we got separated. I ain't getting washed. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Dub. You got that right, fascinated box. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Dub. Uh. Dubba do to dubba. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I have my dub bear dictionary that I wrote. <laughs> Small seed. All right. Those eyeballs were an absolute obnoxious nuisance in Secret of Mana. They would keep spawning those arrow dudes and then turn you into Moogles with their eye beams. That was nasty. They were a nasty enemy in Secret of Mana. Hello. Flowering near the four gates does the opening and closing. And key flowerings somewhere else work in unison. Remember the formation of the flowerings and which gates they open. Oh, fuck me. It's gonna be a puzzle. Okay. Let's get our notes ready. <laughs> God damn it. The attack action as a Moogle is awesome where you just kind of run in place. Too bad you don't become the FF6 Moogles. Oh my God, I love the FF6 Moogles. They were great. Especially Mog with his little dance, his dance abilities. Mog was a, Mog was a true bro. God, I hope not, Mr. Well, you have a big mouth. Allow me to close it with swords. Final Fantasy VI Moogles or peak Moogles? I agree. They've been relegated to just like basic NPC roles ever since then. We need another Final Fantasy where there's a really important main character Moogle. Though my favorite character Moogle was always uh, Stiltskin from Final Fantasy IX. Oh, boy, somebody help. Those awful gates won't stop opening and closing. Oh. I am connected with them. Oh. So those are flowerlings. I see. Okay. Yeah, pretty much, Sweeps. They were basically just mailmen, which I thought was cute. You know, it was cool, especially the Mog Net place you could go to. And Stiltskin was cool. Like, Nine was the last game Moogles really got any sort of prominent role. Stiltskin, and what was the other one's name? The purple one. Artemision, I think? 
Stiltskin and Artemisian. X2 at Moogle. Right, but is the Moogle important in X2? Like Mog was in 6. That Moogle looks pretty pink as fuck. Oh god, that's terrifying. What the fuck happened to that thing? That is disgusting. Look at this. What in the hell? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know. This is just terrifying. Flower Keys Corner. All right, hold on. I'm going to write this down. Pen's running out. Uh-oh. Come on, Pen. You can do it. Flower Keys Corner. Uh, we are the keys to the gates. Okay. I understand. I think their location in that room determines which gates are opening. Let's test this theory. It only opened one gate. It didn't open this one. I sort of understand. You meant 13 2, not X2. Okay, I was gonna say. Isn't that the one where you can throw Moogles? Okay, that didn't pan out the way I wanted it to. So let's go back. I wanna try something here. Ruined glory section. You go down, you go left. Now, can I make you go down? No? I can't make them go down? Damn. I was gonna have both of them on the bottom. That didn't work, though. Alright, let's have them opposite and see what happens. Moogle throw and Moogle yeet. <laughs> oh, man. That made nothing open. Well, shit. I only partially understand. Can I go that way? I can. Tragedy! Knockout dust. Oh. And yeah, whatever. That's unimpressive. But we got tragedy. Change the top door. I'm not trying to change the top door. I'm trying to change the bottom door. All right, let's try to have them in the other corners. Like this. See if that does anything. Dun, 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 dun. It's cool music. 13-2 Moogles were decently cute. I just never played it. I didn't finish 13, so... Oh, that did open it. Hmm. Interesting. But confusing. Can I go south from this room? Damn. So that opened both of those doors, but didn't really help me, did it? Got 
trying to get that bottom door open. I want that trenchy. This door. Can't get this door open. Whatever. Let's go. Maybe we'll figure it out in a different room. Megalithic structure. Not yet, not yet. I don't feel a thing. What? What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just like my ex. Oh my god, Reg. Reg, how's the life of a... A forced new cat owner <laughs> treating you. Uh, flower keys corner. Ha! Just like the other room. All right. You're combating the allergies, but otherwise good. Why aren't you banned right now? Is the question being asked. Very funny. We are the keys to the gates. We are the keys to the gates. Na, 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 na. Dang it. This is not panning out. Bloop. That number in the upper left hand corner doesn't say 20 yet. He's got a point, Neo. He has a point. Did I come from this way? Ruined glory. No, I didn't. Alright, it's this way. Oh, I could go this way. One sixty P. Oh, the life of mobile. 16, 16 out of five, it says. 16 out of five. Another flower keys corner. Oi, oi, oi. Now I know why people don't like this place. The lucre. Well, that's going to pay for some of those fortunes <laughs> that we keep having to do. Oh, boy. Oi, right. Dredgy. Creepy eye. Right. Preparing psychokinesis. Psychokinesis activated. That's what Nicolo wanted. He was talking about psychokinetic flowerlings. That's this guy. Whatever that did, I have no idea. No idea. We'll figure it out. Potentially. You am connected with them. Good for you. Three sixty P, you don't want to spoil yourself and go source. I just blocked myself off. <sighs> Jeez. I think I'm going backwards, honestly. Yo, look at where it is. It's bork bork bork. Source feels too good for you? Why is it too good, Fascinated Box? I am interested in this. You've already hit your 75 gigabyte threshold after two weeks into the billing cycle. Ooh. Source it is. I feel it. I feel it. <gasps> Look what I did. I opened the door. Oh my God. 
Wait, you like this shirt? That's good. It's good, right? I like it. I think it speaks to my heart. <laughs> it's a pretty good shirt. For those of you on mobile that might not be able to see. There. There you go. There's little little zoomies. Little zoomies for you. It says, don't bother me, right meow. Alright? <laughs> uh, that's right, you can bother me. <laughs> 480p, Neo. That's pretty good for retro gaming. Healing Claw. Ooh. Is that equipment? I haven't gotten equipment in a while. Damn it, it's not. Feels bad. Feels bad. You thought it was a Gato Roboto shirt. Oh, that game was so good. I was very pleased by that game. I was very pleased by that game. Gotta find some more good cat games. Oh, Cindy told me about one that was on sale and I forgot. I must have forgotten to leave a note. Oh, well. She said it was like a dollar or something. What the heck is that? A mummy ape? I think it is. Stun locks. Yo, look who it is. It's the Spoonie Bards. What is up, folks? It's the Spoonie Bards. Probably coming from retro to retro. If I had to guess. Oh, Spoonie playing. Welcome, everybody. How the heck are ya? You get clear feather. We still don't know what to do with that. <gasps> Music change. What was Spoonie doing today? If you don't know me, I'm Phenomenon. Primarily RPG and retro streamer. A little bit of indie here and there as well. That's what we're doing all year. That's what we do. Oh, and we do D&D &D every Saturday as well. The bard in this game is kind of stoned at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. Just in time for jams. Oh, yeah. Chill out with some Animal Crossing. Then Hollow Knight. Any percent practice. You're starting speedy zooms. Ooh, I gotta hang out in your channel on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm gonna check that out. Those are my days off. Thank you, Raiders, as well. Oh, well, why don't you come for me? I'm lonely. I'm so bloody well bleeding lonely. I'm gonna spill. There's a bat above you. You should look. Why, well, you're that Dorian. Well met in, we met in Domino. Was it purring quest? Yes, that's what it was. It was purring quest. Good call. Let me put that note. Let me put that note. Purring quest. Gilbert. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's petrified. This game's awesome. I've never played it before. It's my first playthrough. It's blind. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Only thing I don't like about it, it's really confusing on its conveyance, but everything else is good. Music, art style, sprite work, characters, dialogue. It's fun. It's a fun game. Blimey, I went out looking for nice tea leaves and I got lost. You got lost. So I ended up here deep underground. And I wonder why Dwell hasn't come for me yet. And I f did fancy that bloke so. Final Fantasy 7 rem Remake Demo was just released. Cool. I'm going to completely avoid that until it comes out. <laughs> I won't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to keep it fresh. Keep it nice and fresh. Oh, I almost forgot. A terrible blood-sucking bat lives here. Do watch out. Oh, man. You so am not going to avoid that? Yeah, I can't. I can't touch it, man. I got to wait. Gotta wait. We've waited how many years for this remake? Ten? I think I can wait a little longer. Just a little bit. <laughs> I think I can handle that. Well, take care around here. Alright. This thing is killing me. It's killing me. Whoa, cool. Ah. First, I get a magical creature full of water. Now, if you're the human, 
Only the blood of peaceful, the peaceful dove can quench my thirst. Now let's start by disposing of these meddlesome humans. Yo, bring it. Bring it. Hopefully this hits. Oh, I'm stunned. Fuck. Oh, that's going to miss. Oh, well. <laughs> There we go. Get the stun lock going. Get that stun lock going. Chop, 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 chop. Bye. Pretty good experience. It was tweeted out by the official Twitter, so you assume US. Get <laughs> chunked. You get artifact, bottled spirit. Yes, we finally got another artifact. Heck yes. You guys like my secret of mana font that I use up there? Use a little secret of mana font. I use, I try to make game specific fonts up there. I don't make the fonts. I have a program that has them, but I try to make them tailored to the game I'm playing when I do retro. I think it looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. Do I, I, why don't you come and fetch me? You are quite an adventure out there, gathering tea leaves, ain't you? Life is full of adventure. Only those who enjoy it can grow. You're right, but I felt so helpless. I'll just go. Ah, well, let's go home and have some tea. Okay, I like tea. I'm gonna have some tea after stream. A little chamomile or something? Or some of that fruit tea was Cyril sent me? Bah, 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 bah. Spoonie, I have a question and this is related to something you and I are planning on doing potentially. Um, and maybe the viewers in chat know when is Crystal Chronicles coming out? <laughs> have they given us a dang release date yet? I want to have some tea and forgot this old bleeding thing. And off to another adventure. Oh dear me. No, thank you. June. Oh, we're almost there. Nice. Nice. Tea time of danger. The end. All right. Well, those runes weren't too bad. Oh, yeah. Scared me. Yeah. They make there. It's a remaster. I think it's coming out on the switch. It's going to have all the online functionality. So you don't have to hook up GBAs to play with your friends. I know, Borks. Same, dude. Like, seriously. The prices of retro games in Japan are so cheap. But I don't know Japanese. <laughs> it's like, dang. You know what What one works, Borks? Um, and I have it. But this one actually does work. It's Super Metroid. The Japanese and US versions are identical. Because you can just switch the Japanese in both versions. The only difference is the shape of the cart. Well, goodbye. Don't break down without me. Okay. Okay, Lisa. She says goodbye as she walks into my house that I'm walking into. What a character. What a character, that Lisa. Uh, the Analog Frontiers we watched today was uh, 45 minutes long. And it was part one. So we may want to watch part two whenever that comes out. That was a good time. I'm really glad my life in gaming let us watch that together. Supposed to be summer, but hinted at June. Gotcha, Skapak. Keeping a lookout for English cards when you look around and there's zero. Thank you, man. Keep your eyes open. A lot of you know we have this. Some of you might not. This is my watch list of RPG games. None of which I've ever owned. So I'm trying to get my hands on these for blind playthroughs for the stream. Uh, apparently, I'm being sent to Genesis by somebody. So... Fucking hype. Ooh. <laughs> Super hype about that. I'm going to add a Genesis to my collection, and I have to figure out where on this now limited shelf it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a Gen 1, too, which is what I needed. It's pretty awesome. Tea time. Sounds like today's adventure was about opening and closing the flowerlings' gates, and today's monster kept supping, sucking out my master's blood. Stop bothering my master. How you doing, Elzul? 
Dots. He's doing dots. All right, cool. Get rid of the PS3. I think it's my least used console, to be honest. Well, no, my 360 is because I literally never streamed it. Not once. <laughs> uh, now it's broken. So, yeah, that makes it a little harder as well. Come on, Lisa. Let's go on an adventure. I am on a lookout for those game sweeps. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, the ones in red are being sent. The ones that are in blue, I have, I have obtained. Everything else, I don't have. Every single one of those games that isn't red or blue, I, I don't have. I was getting down with that tune. Backyard orchard. Ooh, we got something new looking there. All right, there's a bumpkin. What's next to the bumpkin? Looks cool. What do we got here? Honey onion. Oh, okay. I don't know if I needed that. No, I didn't. That's too bad. Man, it's really hard to get the fruits I want. The fruits and veggies that I want. I must never get them. Jeremy, play Lunar 2 and the Sega CD? Nah. I don't have a Sega CD, for one. <laughs> and I would much rather play the PS1 version. Squalfin. I can't have your Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. It's all right, dude. I understand. A lot of these games have a sentimental value to a lot of people. Sega CD one is hard. I should throw in Tronbon. Oh yeah, that's on PS one, isn't it? What is it called? Misadventures of Tronbon, right? Tronbon. I think I spelled it right. I just added it. Legends two sells for forty bucks at the local used game store. Says Cloudy one. Is that a good price? Like, I I can't be like spending crazy money on a lot of games right now. I have to budget, you know. All right, um, let's do double round seed. I just randomly do these, by the way. I don't actually know what they do. Mm -mm -mm. Trombone is expensive as fuck, but there's a lot of stupid stores that don't know that. Hmm. Good to know. It's a $300 game. Woo! I know, uh, uh, the Strange told me, he said if I lived near him, he'd just let me borrow his, his games. I think he has that one. He saw a trombone for 150 a few years back. Some stupid kid said, ha, that's actually worth 300 when you went to buy it. Oh, dude, you got mega blocked. You have 19 of those games, including old ones your dad owns. He'd never sell them as he still games at 69 years old and plays them. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I hope that I live that long and I'm still gaming, to be honest. I'm 38 right now, so I'm more than halfway there. <laughs> Hopefully I can make it to that age. All right, we got a new artifact. We got a new one. One, two, three, four. We can put it right here. If we want. It sat in that store for three years until I went out of business. I have an awesome community if they're willing to give you a rare gen one. That's no lie, man. That's 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 the the, the straight truth right there. Plain and simple. It's absolutely true. We're running out of space. Man. Right, let's put this up here. I'll put it right there. Kid lost him 150. Yeah, so he did. What do we got here? Whoop, whoop. We got the Oaken Mines. Oh, okay. That's what we were looking for. Nice. All right. Let's see if Pearl is around in Domino. I have a feeling we're not going to see Pearl for a long time. But I want to bring her and her OP is all heck abilities again. You only know, played Lunars on the Sega. I have Lunar Silver Star Story complete. I've never played Eternal Blue. I never owned it. 
So that would be a totally blind playthrough. Silver Star Story I have played to its completion, but it was when it came out like 20 years ago. I don't remember much about it, except that its production quality was stellar. And when I popped it in the uh, PS2 uh, to test it, its art style has really held up very well as far as sprite design goes. I was really impressed. All right, let's just go to the mines. Lunar 2 is really good, so I've heard. Hopefully I can get my hands on it someday. You've been badly burned with your memory of good games recently. I mean, I'm approaching all these games with the lens of a fresh perspective, as in, okay, this is when they came out. This is how what the games were like. But I'm also approaching them with, are they still fun? And most of the time they are. That's why you love Lunar Everything. Everything's beautiful. Sprites, music, story. And then Lunar Dragon Song happened. Yeah, that... Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That game is something else. Try this weird map interaction synergy twice. And it failed spectacularly both times in Tactics Advance and this game. Well, is that giving you both placing areas and places yeah so i've heard i've just kind of whim gone on a whim i've just gone on a whim with it so you know whatever happens happens you grab the original dot hack games before you moved out here and they're grindy messes yeah that's what i've heard about those games that's why they're none of those are on the list because i've heard they're really not that great you know and i don't know anything about dot hack at all so i'm not sure if they would really be good plays for this channel I'm keeping an open mind about it, but I've not really heard anything too impressive about them. Nine of 10 people playing this wanted another Secret of Mana. That's what I've heard, but I've approached it without comparing it at all to Secret of Mana or Seiken Densetsu 3. And that's pretty much ensured to me that this entire game has been a lot of fun. And so much so that I want to try Sword of Mana. You know, we got to play a little bit of that on Thursday for like 20 minutes or so just to get a taste of it. I had a good time with it. But I'd be willing to try that game too. Tragedy! Rust. That's, that's not treasure. That's that's a dick move, is what that is. It's a mole. Wow, this guy's got hit points. Oh boy. Wow, that's crazy, Bort. This was your first mana game. You've played other since, but this day, to this day, it remains one of your all-time favorite games. Nostalgia is a hell of a thing, isn't it? It really is. Um, and it's interesting to me because I'm approaching like this, like I said, this is a new game to me. So I don't have any nostalgia for this game. I'm just enjoying it as it is. And there's a lot to like about this game. There really is. This game's super pretty. Reminds you of how pretty Evermore was when you first time played it. I liked Evermore too. You know, Evermore was like the only game that Square Enix of America made or Squaresoft of America made. And it was Jeremy Sewell's first game he ever composed for. And that guy has done mute soundtracks for like a hundred games. Sort of man is worse, dumbed down version of Adventure Man. Final. So I've heard. Still want to try it. Still want to try it. It's one of the ones you do own. You just have to find it. You expected another Secret of Mana for this game. Instead, fell in love for what it really is. Yeah, this definitely isn't Secret of Mana. I don't think it's trying to be. 
and I think that's the a lot of problem that people have with Chrono Cross too. Like if you just view Chrono Cross in its own lens and not compare it to Chrono Trigger, the game is fun, it's really fun and beautiful, and it's got great music. There's some definitely some downsides of it. The character growth in that game is pretty limited. So there's not a lot of that because there's so many characters, and it's kind of hard sometimes. But overall, it's an above average game. I oh Pokio. This name, this guy's name has been dropped a bunch of times by various NPCs. I am Pokio, the storyteller. The master is away. He's probably out mining deep in the dungeon. Okay. Mind your own business. Oh boy. Oh boy. The puns. Let me tell you of Watts' heroic exploits when he comes back. Watts, he's from Secret of Mana. Huh. Each mana game is different when you accept that you'll love them more. It's hard. It's really hard to do. Like I get, um, uh, Vey, I think you say your name, Vey, Vey, J, Vey, we'll call you Vey. I get his point. Like, cause a lot of people did expect something out of this game and didn't get it, but it's hard to be able to just put your side up, put yourself outside of expectations and be like, okay, let's view this through its own objective lens. How does it hold up? And for me, this is holding up really well. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of actually pretty lousy mana games, but the only ones I've played are Secret of Mana and Seiken Densetsu 3, and now this. That's it. <laughs> Jesus, Sun Top. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that. Wow. Wow. That was a really bad one, dude. Do, 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 do. No, but you did say that that's a character in that game. Don Hack was okay, but you only played through the first two volumes. It's tough to recommend since it's split into full price, four full price volumes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we finally got Sacred and Setsu 3 as Trials of Mana, and we're getting the remake, the full remake of that too, which is next month, I think. I think that comes out next month, actually. Let me check my release dates here. The Sword of Mana remake comes out April 24th. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be really good. You do not recommend the dot hack games, got you. Shame the original version's only on Switch. Right, yeah, people that don't have a Switch are gonna have to have a struggle with that. All right, I wanted to check my diary, make sure I didn't fail any quests. Mining business. Okay, cool. I bet this is how you unlock crafting. I mean, Watts was the guy that forged swords in Secret of Mana. Probably Seiken in Setsu 3 as well. And there's apparently a very extensive craft system in this game. Which I have yet to see. Despite being 38 hours into it. <laughs> uh. You're going to give the dot hacks to BGG because he needs new bad games to play. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, you're a goof, man. You're a goof. Yeah, if anyone has any recommendations for good games on this watch list, take a look at this list if you haven't yet. Anything you could think I could add to that that would be a good play for blind. There's probably a lot of, a lot of things you come up with probably are games I've played, but spit them out anyway. Maybe I haven't. No, uh, which game, Cloudy One? Uh, watch list Ambu. Uh, it's linked to just a couple of messages above what you just said right there. You could, if you don't see it, you could also do the command watch list.
Let's get some orbiting blades up in here. This is a good attack. There we go. That's some good stuff. Oh, he dodged it. Interesting. I didn't know they could do that. The demo is eight gigs. Well, the main game is supposedly at like 105 gigs, I think. 110. So that makes sense, honestly. The whole engine has to go in there and then a slice of the game. So yeah, that, that makes sense. I, my mouth is so dry. I can't whistle right now. <laughs> I can't whistle. My mouth is too dry. I need hydrations. This is an empty room. It's a very dark room too. So yeah, um, you're going to need some hard drive space. If you want to install Final Fantasy seven on your PS4. It's like a hundred plus gigs. <laughs> Probably going to be playing that one off a of disc myself. Have I played Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga? No, or Popo LaCroix? No. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei is a dungeon crawler style game, right? I don't know what Popo LaCroix is though. It just came out like today some top, like within the last couple hours. I think if you were the player to really dig your heels and you'd be able to find some entertainment from Dot Hack. I've been watching another streamer play it and I'm not really on the fence for that, Cloudy, because just watching that game, like nothing ever happens in it. You know, I'm not really sure how entertaining that would be. <laughs> Digital Devil Saga is an excellent PS2 game, but you need to play both. I see both. There's a Digital Devil Saga 2. Is that what you mean? Okay. I'll go ahead and add those to the list. Digital DDS. Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. Why is it italicized? There. <laughs> that was weird. <coughs> I don't have a PSP in it, so I can't stream PSP. So if any of those are PSP, I can't. I can't do them. Pobo LaCroix is a cute game. Is it RPG? I don't. I don't. I also can't stream 3DS. That was actually a discussion we were having earlier about how basically getting 3DS capture is damn near impossible now because of how expensive and rare the capture boards are. Abandoned room. Okay. Almost looks like a petrified statue or something. Or giant hand. It almost looks like a hand, doesn't it? Doesn't this room look like a hand? Like it's kind of like clawed like this. Pobo LaCroix is an RPG game. Very adorable. Very much a game that children could play also. Interesting. Sliding image is messing with your head. Oh, and the save? The save screen? I was like, I'm not seeing any sliding images, but I think I know what you're talking about. Modified in new 2DS costs 305 euros straight from the modder. <laughs> wow. Grow Lancer. What's that? I don't know what that is. If Pobo Crow's PS1 is Japan release only. Yeah, I can't do that. Miss RPG girl. It's got to be English, fortunately. And hardware only. So I can't do a fan translation of PS1. Because we are playing on hardware right now. We only do hardware around here. Bro Lancer is PS2 game JRPG. All right, let me look at add some notes to look at these. Bro Lancer, PS2, Popo, LaCroix, adding these to my notes to look up later. Girl Answer series or JRPGs? Hey, that's what we're all about here, isn't it? Maybe that'll work. I don't know anything about them. I know Front Mission was recommended to me, but I'm not really big on the whole mech thing. You know, like, I don't know. 
I played a little bit of it on Super Nintendo. It just didn't resonate with me for whatever reason. The last game working design worked on put them out of business was Grow Lancer. Wow. Grow Lancer is good, but there's only PS2, PSP, and digital. Gotcha. Infinity Simplex, yeah. At least. It's nuts. Because here's why. Here's why. And this is, we discussed this earlier. Um, Japan made it illegal to modify consoles. Like, just completely made it illegal. So it put Katsu Kitty out of business. Because they were, like, basically the one source of these capture boards for 3DSs. They're out of business now because what they were doing is now technically illegal, which is really stupid. I mean, honestly, really, it's, I'm sure they got lobbied hard by, you know, the game industry in Japan and that law was passed and here we are. So basically there's really nobody out there making these boards in the world. <laughs> the one that sells them from Japan or Germany was buying the boards from Katsu Kitty. Well, they're not made anymore, so it's, this is, it is what it is. Girl Answer Generations on PS2 had a lot of voiceover done for it. Cool. Ark the Lad on PS2. I have Ark the Lad collection on PS1. Is there a different Ark the Lad on PS2? The PS2 version is a sequel. Okay. Ark the Lad. All right, let me add that to the notes. Ark the Lad. I don't own Ark the Lad collection, but that's on my list too. Ark the Lad PS2. I'll look that up. All right, now that's added to the notes. Let me scoot a little farther. My keyboard's far away. There. It's possible the mail will still be getting boards, but a soul of the source has gone black market. Yeah, I could see that. There's a PS2 Ark the Lad game. Okay. The PS the Ark the Lad collection on PS1 is different from the PS2 games. Okay. I like this music. Most of the songs in this game I like. <laughs> Fantasy Star Universe. What's that? Because I eventually want to get Fantasy Star 4. Oh, excuse me, for the Genesis. <laughs> Dot hack. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Miss RPG Girl. That's probably one I'm going to avoid, most likely. Oh, there's another. Wait, that's the one I just found. I'm getting spun around. Let's go this way. Victor Ireland. What's Victor Ireland? <laughs> Fantasy Star Universe. Fantasy Star Online. Two is being released stateside. I don't know what Fantasy Star Universe is, though. Uh, I'm avoiding Dot Hack because of how grindy it is. I've seen another streamer play some of them, and from my experience in watching them play those games, nothing ever happens in those games. Like, it just like they seem to they have their charm to them, but I've never seen anything occur in those games. Like, no story, really. You know, no real character development. It's just like you get like random emails and go on side quests all the time and grind. And I, I just, I, I don't know. There's just, it seems like it's missing a lot of what would interest me in a game, if that makes sense. Threads of Fate. That's, that's one I put on my list. Yeah. I don't know anything about that game, but I'm going to keep an open mind about it. I think it got Threads of Fate got buried because it got released like the same time as a bunch of other uh, JRPGs.
Victor Ireland is the founder and owner of Working Designs. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Fantasy Star 4 is rad. Yeah. That's one of the few games on that list I've played a little bit of. On this watch list, the games I've actually played a little bit of are uh, Fantasy Star 4, Shining Force 1 and 2, um, Dragon Warrior 4, and Golden Sun. And I think that's it. Oh, and Saga Frontier. But none of these games on this list I've actually owned ever. So everything else on that list I've never played at all <laughs> so it's a pretty extensive list of hey blind playthroughs we could get slated up around here grands of fate is okay nothing spectacular spectacular but it's good i mean i'm, I'm down with above average dub bear dub 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 means hi or yes or like i think he's saying hi he's saying hi i'm going to assume this dub bear is saying hello This game and Chrono Cross were released with Threads of Fate in the summer of 2000. So it got buried. Yeah. <laughs> These games just completely overwhelmed it. Speaking of Granja, I have never played it. And I will be playing it after Lunar... No, after... When will I be playing it? After this, we're playing Lunar Silver Star Story. Um... Then probably our first stream of a Saturn game, which is probably going to be Albert Odyssey. Hopefully it's going to be Shining the Holy Ark, but I have Granja. I managed to find it in a really good deal on eBay um, a couple weeks ago. So this one's ready to go. It's one of the few ones I've gotten on that list. I've never played it. I did load this up to test the discs. And just the, like the intro and the graphics are awesome in this game. I'm like really excited for it. And it had voice acting, I think too. I think it had voice acting too, if I'm not mistaken. I was like, wow, this is pretty high quality. Spoonie says, I can hardly decide what I'm playing now, let alone after. <laughs> I can't type. Ugh. It's all right, Spoonie. You can be okay. You can be okay. I know it's it's hard to decide what you're gonna play like I have a list of games that I kind of want to play immediately but my mood changes so much so we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes stop eating me there we go get a little moon jump on him You make a smallish list and pick when you need a new game. Yeah, same. Like if I plan out the whole year, I'd feel trapped by those plans. So I just have a list. And then when I beat one game, I'm like, which one of these do I want to play now? It's, I think it's better to be flexible with these things. Sword stun locks are OP. We started out using claw weapon, but this is way better. I'll just do that. The enemies get stuck and it just kind of trivializes. <laughs> All right, Hunter, sleep well, man. Thanks for hanging out. All right, hopefully I'm not going in circles. Ooh, music change. Chrono Cross, it's just, it's, I love Chrono Cross, but I just, I try not to compare it to Chrono Trigger and it is a tough game, honestly. It's a tough game. It's what? I bet it, yo. Come back later. Uh, okay. Stop it, yo. Let me be. I tried cut it out. This place is dangerous. You best be on your way. Yo, limited time gamer. Yeah, we are just talking about that. Oh no, not this thing again. Oh God. Not this thing again. Oh dear. This is bad. The last time I fought this thing, I died like three times. Let's 
try to get some orbiting blades going here. There we go. Is that thing charging? No, it's not. Okay. I'm confused. I'm confused. Where'd the other one? Okay. Oh, hi. No, no. Get away. Get away. Get away. It's charging. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's charging. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, okay. I hope this hits. Nice. We got him. Oh dear, that was bad. Get rid of this thing. Okay, cool. All right, we're doing okay so far. Poor Boko. You leave Boko alone. Couldn't force yourself to keep playing it. I mean, it's not going to be for everybody, you know? Not everybody's going to like Chrono Cross. I did. You know, mostly I like the art style, the music. I, I I liked the gameplay. I liked the story, honestly. And the story gets really good the further you get. Well, what was that? I don't know. It was cool. Oh, God, I'm confused. Boko's unconscious. No, don't hurt my chocobo. Oh dear. This is getting a little hairy. Come on. We're almost there. I just picked those up. <laughs> I was looking at chat. It's like all this experience sitting there. Uh, Why are you going in a place like this? Yeah, there's some Suddenly, scenes. from across the building, I oh hear a seductive Sam. squawk. <laughs> I frantically look through the stable. Again, squawk, squawk. <laughs> this time lingering as to call me. I finally reached the last stall. <laughs> I open it to see a fine, thick, majestic chocobo. Number 026. <laughs> God damn it, Sam. <laughs> Thank you for the 777 bits. <laughs> Does Harvest Moon count as an RPG? I would say no. Uh, Rune Factory kind of would. Rune Factory games would, but Harvest Moon, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's some parts of Chrono Cross where I was like, man, I'm so hooked. And I remember the part I, I got to see you watch, Spoonie. I was so happy I was there for it. Was the the whole scene with Nikki in the concert. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> I love that part of that game. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. What did you come in on with that alert? That's our 777-bit alert. Yeah, the concert is amazing in Chrono Cross. Oh, that's like one of the highlights of the game. So good. My name is good here, but there's a ferocious monster about. Go home. I, I just, I, I defeated it. It's It's gone. Already defeated it. You, you must be joking. No. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yeah, you put those 777 votes to Chrono Cross. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, man. That's a big bit drop right there. You got her. You got Nikki's belly dancing sister, Mickey. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. 
Nikki is... Oh, man. Adds so much to the game. I, I don't think I'll be able to do Nikki's voice justice because Spoonie does voices too. And she was voicing Nikki like some glam rock like star from the fucking 70s. Oh, my God. <laughs> With like the shitty English accent. It was hilarious. I was like, I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to do something with that voice. <laughs> yes, I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, to who cares about that, right? I'll bet you right now. So just make yourself at home. All right, you got it. Tragedy. Ahem. Well, then, now that he is here, allow me to tell you of what's heroic exploits. You reminded you of Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. It's perfect. Rock and roll, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pokio presents Watts' bravery. Dots. Oh, Watts, a small uh, uh, words. He strikes with his hammer uh, and his great helm. Watts, uh, Watts, uh, your soul is your great helm. Watts, Watts, or uh, Watts. You haven't really done that much. The end. <laughs> God damn it. Just channeling your inner this is Spinal Tap rocker voice. Yeah, it's perfect for Nikki. Have I played any Star Ocean Legend of Heroes or Dragon Quest Warrior? I one of my first games I ever streamed was Star Ocean 2. Love that game. Uh, I've not streamed Star Ocean 3. Uh, I probably won't stream Star Ocean 4 or 5. Legend of Heroes, I haven't streamed any of those, but I think those are PC or PSP only. And I don't know if I'm going to do a PC game. Not sure. Dragon Quest, I have streamed 7 and 8. And 11 will be soon. Um, as far as the list goes, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 that could be streamed. And those are all... I need to get my hands on Dragon Warrior 4, the NES cart. But I have the NES carts for 1, 2, and 3. Shut it, you! What a pair, huh? No story to tell. You get each platinum. Okay. From the very retro Legend of Heroes that goes by a Japanese name or console, but it's Japanese. Gotcha. Now, I like all these suggestions you guys are giving me. I've got a few that I need to look up after stream. All right, let's go back and report into the cactus. She had 99 bits and a bit of lunk. Some of the early ones can't be found on PC. You know, um, one of our viewers right now, his name's Skapak, he wrote an extensive article on that series. Um, on basically the best way to play all of those games. It's pretty good. I don't have a link to it handy, but if he's still around, he could probably pop it in. It might be a bit late for him, though. He's usually in bed by now. All right. Uh, talk to the cactus. <laughs> Elazul's still hogging my bed, so I can't save at home anymore. How is Tale of Heroics? Says the cactus. Oh, yeah. It is converting asterisk to X. That's interesting. Oops, I don't need to talk to you. I'm going to do this. Do, do, do. All right, what was it called? Uh, mining business. The Birdman says, Watts doesn't have any heroic stories to tell. I wish someone will come up with a story about me. He moves like lightning. He kicks monster butts. I think I like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. I like that too. It's pretty good. Let's see if we have new options available now. No options? No. Dang. I thought Watts was going to move in. Wishful thinking. That's all right. More probably has to be done. 
for him. But it, it, I almost, I have a pretty good hunch that he's going to be like a crafting option in this game. 40 hours later. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get our, our plants. Heart mint. Dang, we rarely get any plants I actually want for uh, Boko. I think this is basil. Spade basil, yeah. Oh, the kit link? Yeah, kit's a cool website. I like it. I wanted to, like a nice central place where people could see my setup um, easily. And that website kind of did that pretty well. Um, the current setup looks like this now. It's pretty accurate, mostly. Except for the lamp. The lamp isn't there anymore. It's on the other side of the room. But yeah, that's my setup right there. That's where I sit, stream. Pretty much looks like that, except the cords aren't as messy. <laughs> that's basically it. That's the quote-unquote workplace, I suppose. All right, give him seeds. Let's get some more uh, stuff grown in here. Let's try oblong and flat. Try oblong and flat. Let's see what we get out of that. It's a lot of monitors. I could use one more, to be honest, instead of that big TV. Put one to the right of the three. It would be pretty useful right now. I often run out of space during my D&D streams, for example, or... Um, or uh, when I do, uh, like, event streams, like retro roulettes, I run out of space. <laughs> it's a lot of windows that I gotta keep open. <laughs> There's a whole bunch. You spy no green screen? Yeah, you can't see it on that image. It's just to the left of the cat tree on a curtain rod. Cameras that don't work without needing the green screen kind of work, I will say. They're not very good. They're really not. They don't work very well. Um, okay. Where do I want to go? There's still some quests that I have unresolved. Let's go to Lumina. Now that we found that psychokinetic flower, maybe Niccolo wants to hang out. Yeah, there's a green screen behind me right now. It's on a curtain rod. So when I'm done, the reason you can see that setup picture is because the curtain rod isn't drawn. The curtain isn't drawn. I just put it like a pure- And knowing is half the battle. Jesus, that was loud. Okay, I'm turning that down. <laughs> well, good no. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I was going to put that one at maybe not 100%. <laughs> uh, oh god, that was already turned down. That one's just really loud for some reason. That's pretty funny. All right, cool. That should be fixed now. <laughs> Are water coolers for your CPU better than air coolers? Potentially, but I think they're more hassle. And with some of the air coolers out there in the market, I don't think it's worth it to do a water cooler personally. I think it's a personal really choice, but like good Noctua air coolers are going to do almost as good as them, if not as good as them. <clears throat> well, shall we meet again? I want to go to the Mindus ruins. I heard a rumor about a psychokinetic flowering in the ruins. I have to go see him. Let's go together. Okay. Of course it's not real. We have to go prove that. All right, Nicolo, let's go. Nicolo's Business Unusual, part three. Wow, Sun Top, that's amazing. You have a big hard drive on that PS4. Alright. Got a bunch of quests. On a two fan water cooler. 
I would just get an air cooler personally. Get a nice Noctua. That's what I use in this machine, in this gaming machine. Not the encoder, but the gaming machine. It's a big beast of a Noctua with a... I think I put a Corsair Maglev on it? For its fan? Maybe? It should say which air cooler I'm using on that kit website. Oh boy, Pika. <laughs> uh, moments like those are important because they let you know when sound is not balanced properly. <laughs> Man. All right, we got it. We got our our rabbit friend back. I always like having Nicolo around. He's he's a an interesting fella. He's an interesting fella. All right, we're back in the Mendes ruins. We gotta find the psychokinetic flowerling. Psychokinesis. Retina cars. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> it wasn't that one. That one's been turned down many times over the last couple of years. I'll tell you that. Do, 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 do. He's rolling around and punching things. That's awesome. Sleepy eye. Ooh, long seed. I'll take extra seeds. Trying to buy an i9 or an i7. I always recommend Ryzen, especially if you're going to stream. i9, i7, Intel's are overpriced at this point. You're paying extra for minimal gain over a Ryzen. I have Ryzen CPUs in both of my PCs. And... I mean, they are destroying Intel right now and f as far as sales go and performance. Like, just destroying them. Especially if you multitask and or stream. Oh, my God. It's not even close. <laughs> if you're purely just gaming, Intel kind of, like, their higher-end chips will edge out Ryzen. But you're paying, like, one to 200 extra dollars for that. You bought your motherboard right now? I mean, you can cancel it if you just bought it right now. If you bought it just right now, you can cancel it. We have a tech channel in my Discord, and a lot of people frequently get help with PC setups there. Very frequently. Myself included. I usually ping the technocracy role in there. And there's people that are in my Discord that are really good with that kind of thing. They've helped me build my PCs. I don't know what this tower is. I don't think I've been here. Tower of Winds? Mm -mm -mm. Well, there's nothing here right now, as cool as this is. You must consider Rise until a game you bought recently. All the AMD people claim their game stopped working. It was only happening to AMD people. Fair enough. Oh, I got you. Got you. All right. Well, hopefully you don't pay too much. Open the gate to the underground by psychokinesis. It's tiring. Yo, you wanted psychokinesis, guy. He's right here. Nicolo, what did you be? Strategy! Sharp claw. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Sharp claw is more crafting ingredients. We don't know what they're for yet. What is the cooldown on tier three sound effects? It's two hours, so people don't spam them. Some people just get way too spammy with sound effects. 
go. We made it two hours. It used to be four. The i9 is for sure overpriced. You're trying to buy the best since you plan on quitting your job. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the connection, but I got you. Oh, I see. You're not going to be able to afford it after you quit your job. I understand. Let me smash. Dun, dun, dun. Bam, bam. Ow! I'm being constricted. Do, do, do. Becky smash. Yeah, it's mega overpriced. I wouldn't recommend them to people, but if you're going for pure performance in gaming, it's probably the way to go. If you're doing any sort of multitasking or streaming, it is not the way to go. No, no, no. Blackened bat. All right, let's find the psychokinesis guy he's looking for. Is why we're here. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if I've been this way. Seven years ago, you got the CyberPower PC Mini Cube from Sears. It has an I had an i5. That's kind of neat, Cloudy One. That's kind of cool. The PC's for art, gaming, video recording. It wouldn't be for pure streaming. Right, what up? All right, if you're not planning on streaming it at all, you're probably fine. I am connected with them. Basically, Ryzen uh, CPUs are the masters of multitasking of any kind. And encoding will use every core. So... Ryzen's gonna win out in that scenario. Okay. Think it was this formation? Not 100%. The gaming machine I use has a Ryzen 2700X and the encoding machine has a 1600X. I really wanna upgrade that someday. Someday. We're closed! Bzzz. Well, excuse me, princess. Dang. I've been wanting to get 3700X for the gaming machine and then put the 2700 in the encoding machine. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> uh. Lady, you're in the way. Move it. Move it. Okay. You prefer an Intel NVIDIA combo for art and gaming. Yeah. If it's just pure gaming. Yeah. If you can afford it, that is. I mean, you're paying a lot more for marginal increases over Ryzen at this point. Psychokinesis is wonderful. Here he is. We'll be rich if we can catch him and put him on display. Uh, excuse me? Niccolo, you need to stop, brother. <laughs> Super Psychokinesis! He ran away. I knew he was a fake. Get me out of here. Uh, I don't think he was a fake. I don't think he was at all. Yeah, I initially would have had the same reaction, Cloudy One. Like, oh God, what did you do? But sometimes those deals are like, oh, okay. This is actually pretty good. I don't, interesting. I've never been in this corner. We are the keys to the gates. Good. Wonderful. Where's the other guy? 
The Jumana's kanji logo reminds you of Sentai Jayu Ranger. What's that? I don't know what that is. What that? Yo, it's a Shelly act. Did I say hi already? I can't remember. Streamer brain. It's real. It's real. It's a real thing. Season one of the original Power Rangers is Japanese name. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Kyoru Sentai Jiu Ranger is what Power Rangers was based on. I understand. You are the keys to the gates. Good. Super. Oh, I can go through now. New terrain. Megalithic structure. Is this new terrain? No, it's old terrain. Feels bad. Mm. He is connected with them. Very funny, Bort. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Only one guy is spawning now. This is unusual. This is unusual. What the, I broke the, the, the dungeon. Knock to an NH D15. Yeah. Yeah, knock to us. Awesome, awesome coolers. You think Nicolo broke the dungeon? Touche. Touche, Mr. Earl. Small seed. I nine will cover you for a long time. Yeah. It will also cost like a hundred dollars more than an i7. And I'm really wondering how much of an increase in performance you're going to get out of that. My roommate's still using my old i7. That was a pretty good chip. It was a 4790K. Nothing could handle a lot I could throw at it. I actually don't know where to go now. Kind of lost. Long seed. Hopefully this is the right way. Frick, I did go backwards. All right, fight this guy again. Well, at least he drops seeds every time. That's kind of cool. The most overlooked thing you see in builds is monitors. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times that's because people use the ones they already have. They don't usually include them in builds because monitors aren't usually like hardware exclusive. On, you know, you don't need to like upgrade your your monitor if you change a motherboard. So they're usually overlooked in builds. I-9 is probably what you go with if you had a good deal. What are PC prices like in Japan boards compared to the States? How do they compare? I'm, I'm actually curious about that. Psychokinesis is tiring. Oh, all right. 12 years. Wow. I don't know what I should be doing right now. To be quite plain. I really don't. 144 hertz monitors. I won't touch them. They're the freaking doom for streaming. They ruin capture <laughs> because of the mismatched refresh rates. I won't touch those damn things. 60 hertz all the way.
Blizzard meat. You play shooters often. I do not ever play shooters. But yeah, I could. I know why high hertz monitors are good. But I, for me personally, as a streamer, they're a bad idea. I think I'm going in circles at this point. Maybe buying a drawing monitor. Oh, that's cool. What kind of stuff do you draw? I think I just went in a huge circle. I'm not certain, but I think so. I'm so lost. <laughs> Crap. I'm beginning to see why people don't like this area. Do, 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 do. My poor video card struggles with everything I throw at it anyway. I don't need it to be running in a higher frame rate than it is. Doo doo doo. Nobody's here. Yeah, we went in a circle. Jeez. My 1080 Ti that I have um, has three monitors connected to it. And then a fourth output, which is mirrored of my HDMI. Um, and that's the one that goes to the capture card in the encoding machine. So technically it's three displays, but one of them is duplicated for the capture for the encoding machine. That seems to have worked out pretty well. You're heading to bed. All right, Pika. Thanks for hanging out, man. He's tiring. He's tiring. That poor guy with his psychokinesis. 1080 Ti playing retro RPGs. And I push it to its limit, Han. Believe it or not. Because <laughs> of all the multitasking with displays that I use. I actually had to turn on a setting earlier this stream because I was getting too hot to use the power optimization for multi-display because it was running at like full clock speed and it was like 60 Celsius when I turned that setting on. It's now at 32 Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of push it. I kind of push it pretty hard. I don't use it really for gaming, though when we do our Subnautica streams, Subnautica kicks its ass. That Subnautica game we've been playing has been just beating the tar out of that poor 1080 Ti. Well, that that Han is done on a separate machine. The the rendering and OBS is on an entire separate machine, and that video card is it. I need to put some kind of Nvidia in that machine if I could ever afford it. It, the, the encoding machine is an RX 560 and it's not cutting it. It just isn't. It's not cutting it. You're still using the i5 4670K you bought years ago. You have a feeling it'll bottle next soon enough. Yeah. That's why I upgraded from that 4790K. Finally, the exit. I was so worried. That flowerling couldn't use psychokinesis, so we ran away. What a fake. Uh. He teleported, buddy. <laughs> oh, Nicolo is a giant derp. Oh, my God. It Subnautica is pretty poorly optimized, Han. Plus, here's the difference between probably what you're using it for and what I'm using it for. I'm running it in borderless window with three other displays. So, I mean, you kind of got to consider that. Yeah, I got to upgrade that RX 560 on the encoding machine because OBS uses the GPU, even if you're not encoding with the GPU, because it has to use the GPU to, to run the compositor to actually display everything that's on the canvas. 
So you still need a pretty good GPU if you're doing a lot of stuff in OBS. And I have overloaded. Elzel's gone. I've overloaded that RX 560 with all the stuff I use. Mm -hmm. da, da. Mm -hmm. You have an RTX 26, 2060. How is it? You have an RX 580, six, 588 gig that's not being used. I'd use it. I don't think I could afford it though. That's the thing. <laughs> 2060 sounds pretty nice. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, what was the name of that quest? Oh, Nikola's something business three. There, oops, not two. Nikola trying to catch the psychokinetic flowerling to make himself 50 rich, but it got away. I wish I was psychic because I would use that power to write my diaries. Okay. Da -na 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 -na. I'm using an i3 since living in South Korea. It's been your main PC. 